why is my mic not working? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Hi y'all, um, sorry that I'm a little late. I guess my PNG is not working, that's what's going on. Uh, I was trying to get my medicine and stuff. As many of y'all know, I'm still trying to get over the stomach flu. So I'm gonna kind of go with the flow on today's stream and just kind of see how I feel and just play it by ear. I wasn't originally gonna stream tonight just because I still got symptoms, but I did take some medication. There she goes, now she's working. <laughs> get out of here, I farted. <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to dot, dot, dot. Um, but yeah, I just, I really missed y'all and I really want to get back into streaming. The worst honestly has passed for me. I just have like a head cold symptoms basically and some dizziness, but I do have water. And if I need more, I obviously will get more. We're just gonna kind of see how tonight goes and kind of play a more laid back paleo stream tonight. I don't think I'm gonna go do a bunch of like exploring today. I think we're just gonna mostly focus on designing. I really, really want to work on this plot today. I actually need to add, I think my wallpapers and stuff too. Hi Els, welcome to the stream. You know, I forgot to thank everybody for being here and first go through the list. Hello Jet, hello Elizabeth, hello Kristen, hello Kat, hello Mary. My chat is kind of delayed right now and it's like cutting off some of the older messages. So if anyone else typed in the chat, just know I appreciate you so much. Brick, thank you so much for becoming a member. And oh my gosh, level one, let's go. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to the member club. Um, so apparently it fell off somehow, you know, it, if it makes you feel any better, my memberships always cancel on me and I have to renew them all the time. So it's not just you. No excuses, Brick. We expect the payment one time, every time. Steven said no excuses, Brick. <laughs> just ignore him. <laughs> um, okay. So this is my cottage plot and a few updates ago, we were working on a witchy plot. So that's kind of what this is. And I'm trying to decide basically like what I want my color palette to be. Now I was originally doing like blue, purple and black. And I think I might honestly stick to that color scheme for this plot. We'll kind of, we're gonna have to see how the exterior goes. Cause that's the first place I wanna work on is getting like a curvy pathway that connects over to this bridge. And we're gonna like light it up with candles and trees and stuff. I'm gonna shout out my friend Jet, by the way, who did like this gorgeous candlelit paleo pathway. I think it was like for the fall update. So I probably will take inspiration from that. I don't know all the candles that she used, but I know she is lurking so she can probably help guide me on this because <laughs> I don't know all the illumination options we got. I know that we got actually more candles since the Christmas update. So we're gonna definitely do something kind of like that. I'll, I wanna do like a giant tree right here and have like a bunch of flowers, kind of like a little cul-de-sac thing. There's two different pathway options we could do. And y'all, I thought I was having some big brain energy the other day because I've been kind of on a small break from Halia, not because I don't like it, because one, I got sick, and then two, Pickle, my dog passed away. Um, the last update. So I just wasn't in a good mindset to really do a lot of streaming last month. And this month I'm finally kind of getting back into routine basically. And then I got the stomach flu. Thank you mom-in-law, by the way, for that. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I'm trying to get things back in order now on Halia. I want to get more designing done. Sadly, not feeling 100% V, but the worst has passed. So we're just gonna manifest that things get a little bit, you know, easier each day. But yeah, at least the worst symptoms are gone. But well, I thought I was having some big brain energy. What I was trying to get on with that is you can use the cutting boards as a pathway. And I discovered they look like step bean stones, right? Then I was messing around with stuff and I was gonna do a full video on this. I was like, holy cow, look at me, I'm so smart. I didn't think that this could work. Y'all, apparently people have been doing this for like a month. Do you ever get so excited about something thinking you're like being a smarty pants and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for people to learn this. It was like using this thing and then the, um, 
the cutting boards. I was like so excited. Emma has done it. Corey Dune has done it. So many other people have done it. And I was like, oh man, I thought I was being, you know, a cool kid, like smart. So I'm still gonna do the pathway today, but sadly it is definitely not just my idea. Apparently everyone else has done it, which it's okay. I mean, like I look at it this way, like everything has been done by somebody at some point, but I literally was like so excited about this. Come to find out people have been doing it. <laughs> yes, with the bushes behind fencing. I remember that you were like so excited with like the bushes behind the fencing. And I was just like, oh, how do I break the bad news to her? <laughs> yeah, I was like, Oh, I thought I was so cool. I was excited about it. I was recording the video on how to do it. And then everyone has been doing this for like the past three weeks. It's not just those two YouTubers either. It's like a lot of people. But I'm, I'm to the point where I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna do it because I, I really like how it looks. So the garden um, variety stone pathing will take a lot towards your limit. But I'm not gonna be too stressed about that because like a lot of this is gonna be trees and like greenery, like it's not gonna be the end of the world to me. But I am gonna move this up a little bit and we need to change the colors. I also want to work on um, my mansion, which is this plot. And I think I'm gonna figure, I'm probably gonna do a very similar layout to what I had uh, last update, but like improve it because we got bushes and stuff. I know I want to do like a really nice Zen garden gazebo thing like over here. So I could actually, no, I need to get the house layout done first so I know how much space I have. So that's gonna be this plot. Then I've also been working on, now don't freak out Brick and Jet. This is kind of like my friend plot. We've been cooking and doing stuff on here. I had to steal the centerpiece from here for a different uh, video, but I need to add it back. But there was like this cute little, centerpiece right here i might be able to actually add that back it's not that hard to add back but this is my cooking plot which i'm still not fully done with it i actually tore it down and was redoing it so we're gonna have to finish this plot a different day <laughs> i had to tear down the centerpiece so i could do a different video that never got posted because then i got sick but yeah i had like this little cooking um centerpiece I might need to add that back if I come across it today. It won't be hard though. <laughs> Rick is like, I cannot. Look, okay, I will add it back right now so y'all can stop bullying me. <laughs> this is their favorite plot that I've done and I've tore it down like three times because like I have issues and I'm psychotic. So yeah, let me, let me put that back real quick. I also need more, um, cooking recipes so we can decorate it better. Let me go ahead and sell this and keep these flowers down here. We're also, I might need to go get some resources today. So I'll, I'll just put these back though. Also, I don't know if y'all knew, but there is a thing right now that all of the Sir Nukes, and if you're new to Paleo, those are the deer-like creatures. You have a magic deer, you have an elder one, which is like dark brown and black and then you have like the bambi colored looking one they are all three dropping plushies like it's really random but you get this really cute plushie for each one and i think the magic deers um drop two right now is what i saw so make sure you're doing your hunting and getting those plushies like it's random it can take a lot of tries to get them but they are a thing so if we have time today, I might try to attempt to get those. <laughs> I know, but I took it down because we have the fancy dining rooms. So I really want to um, continue extending it. And I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm really excited to work more on this restaurant. We're gonna do like a outside area. Now today, the restaurant is not gonna be the focus of today's stream. We're gonna be working on my cottage, but I do wanna try to get a couple of things replaced. I had this back in with the pantry, so I need to bring that back. Gotta bring that back. Let's get rid of these cutting boards for a second. The cutting boards might be a good option for this witchy home for the pathway instead of the rocks. We'll see. Um, yes, you get plushies from hunting. You get like three different one. 
like somebody I know got the Elder Cernic, um plush in like 10 tries. Somebody else I know got it in 300 tries. So it's like lucky coins basically. Like you have to try several times, but it gives me a reason to actually go hunting again. So I'm excited about that. Um, okay, so where, where is my ranch furniture? I'm playing in a smaller window for stream today because like for some reason full screen mode kind of makes Paley a lag a lot. So it's harder for me to see things. So bear with me. Are you going to bed, Steven? Good night. Everybody say good night, Steven. <laughs> Did you just say good night, Steven, to me? <laughs> you silly. You silly. All right. Where is my Ember Seeker? I think that's what it's called. Where is it? I'm looking for, it's like this little flame thing. I think that might be further up. Let me look. Oh, are you gonna go hunt? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like, I'm super excited to get those because I really re want to start like collecting all the plushies, but my hunting luck and just luck in general, it's not very good. <laughs> okay, we found the pieces. So basically, the centerpiece to my restaurant, which I obviously have a ways to go. I haven't even done the exterior. I had like this little flame thing in the middle, which we're gonna put back. Brick, you might wanna come center this for me if you're coming back on before we play Enshrouded later, cause you know it's gonna drive you crazy. I don't center things properly. Okay, there we go. And then I had these displayed with a bunch of like food pieces. So I'm gonna put this back real quick. That way they can't be haters to me anymore. I literally just tore this down because I needed the pieces for um, the pavilions. I was gonna do like three pavilion ideas and have one as a workshop, one as an outdoor little cafe. And I was gonna bring this centerpiece into that build, but then I got sick and it never happened. And then Pickle died. So we're just gonna put it back and just start fresh on Palea. That's, that's gonna be my mindset. Did I not grab enough? I thought I had four. Oh, there it is. You literally just did that on purpose. You could see as clear as day. It wasn't centered on the yellow lines. No, I honestly don't see that. <laughs> I mean, it's centered to the, um, well, this is not centered, but I mean, like the other pieces are, and I'm not trying to go for perfectly centered. Well, sort of am. Maybe I do it just to make you draw, uh, go crazy. Maybe I'm just a hater. Oh, hi, Jet. Um, okay, so we got that back. And then we also need to put our little uh, spice thing. That's what I'm calling this. I want to get another one of these. I'm saving up to go to Badru to get another. Y'all do not want to know what my levels are right now in skills because Disney Dream My Valley and Palea and Enshrouded have basically became my life. And it's all I play lately. <laughs> Why are you being such a hater? I honestly didn't see that it wasn't centered. Oh yeah, okay, so over here was prep stations, mixing stations, and then I had two stoves over here and two ovens. I really grinded Maji Market so I could add more food items. And you know what I just realized, y'all? That I never had time to finish adding all of the Choppa mugs in here. Oh shoot, well, that sucks. I might have to steal. Well, you know what I could probably do? Is like the bottom rows be the Choppa mugs and it looks like just a couple were pulled out for the sitting over here or the dining and then I don't know what I'm gonna put on that top shelf you just got the well nice I want another one but yeah this this plot is definitely nowhere near done yet I'm making progress though slowly but surely my goal is to have every plot fully decorated outside and inside so we're gonna go bring this in also has anyone noticed that when you drag things like this you run a little bit slower it's been really driving me insane okay so i think it's under equipment we need two stoves we're gonna need one of these because they're more cottage core looking for my other plot and two prep stations two mixing stations is that everything i think it is all right there we go also mods can you get a link to jet's channel for me because she's, she's in the chat and on the game. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Your house is empty compared to mine. Honestly, don't feel too bad about that because I've been playing since closed beta. So 
You just got it because of the switch recently. You'll catch up. This is a lot of hours gone into, you know, all this stuff. All right, let's put these back where they were because I do need to do weeklies at some point. But we're probably not going to do that today. Did I forget to grab another stove? Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I forgot to do that. Elsa, hello, hello. Welcome in. Thank you, Brick. Thank you, Jet. Or Els. <laughs> not me confusing <laughs> my mod team. Oh my gosh. Now they're never going to let me um, live that one down. Apparently, I'm like super mean to my mod team. So that's another thing that they're going to add to the list. All right, there we go. Putting that back and then we'll put the food back and then move on to my cottage plot. Need to have some sort of organization back, you know? I know, Jed is so talented, so underrated. Y'all need to go check her out. If you don't, I will wish you a horrible day. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna do my prep stations. I think I had those over here. Also shout out to Brick for helping me center all of this because this wall was like making him go mad and me come to find out it was like super way off. I'm like the queen of not centering things, which is good when you're doing like cottage core, but not structured. Give me a second. Let me pick up my puppy. She keeps asking me to hold her. Come here, you. Do you want some cuddles? Um, also, if you're new to my channel, I'm trying my best. If I don't actually get sick again, I need to reinstall my webcam. So we'll probably have a webcam stream in the next couple of streams or so. That way you can officially meet my face. I usually stream mostly with my PNG because I'll be real with y'all. Like not having to get ready and just be lazy is the mood, especially when you just want a game and chill. So most of the time I look like I've rolled out of bed and that's just, that's, that's like the mood. That's like the vibe every day. But I am gonna make the effort to do my makeup and stuff and do a webcam stream in the next couple of streams. I just need to reinstall stuff. I had to factory reset my PC, so a lot of my usual things on streams are missing currently. But we should be back in routine soon. I'm gonna try to make it a goal to at least do maybe one or two webcam streams a month. But like I said, it's like the will to get ready. <laughs> 200 arrows in. Yeah, I did um, 300 arrows last night, no luck. I feel like I'm gonna be one of those people who don't get it quickly. Cause I'm pretty unlucky with that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, so we got that back. Let me go see what is in here. <laughs> the PNG is very cute. Like a super talented artist made my PNG. I'm just saying. So it's like, I like her. She's cute. She's my little Animal Crossing gal. Like she's been with me since like day one, you know? So it's, it's like my Animal Crossing gal means a lot to me. And now I got her in a little cutesy character. Okay, so where is, I, I literally cannot see this. <laughs> like my uh, screen is so small right now because I'm having some frame issues with Palea. So it runs a little bit better in a smaller window, but like at the same time, I'm just like, where is everything? Okay, there we go. Well, we're just gonna do it this way. Okay, so we're gonna get the hot pot back. We're gonna get the stuffed cabbage. We're gonna get this back. I might need to uh, cook some food, y'all. Like at some point to get all the food pieces back. We'll see what's also on the floor. Oh yeah, I literally, every single day, I'm in my PJs or yoga pants. There's like, there's nothing else. It's always those. <laughs> Uh, hot pot goes right here. Y'all, this item is so cute. One of my favorites. We're gonna get this all nice and decorated again. Then we're gonna move on to my cottage plot. That way my friends can't hate on me. Does anybody, AKA Jet and Brick, do y'all have the hot dog recipe? Or like the little cutting board one? Cause I think I accidentally uh, ate that. It is, I think I have it placed over here. It's this one. Oh no, that one. I'm not, I know there's another. Oh, we need also this too, the uh, sashimi. We need also that. I need to get a few more recipes back. Um. Okay, let's see. How am I feeling? Hello, Henry, first of all, welcome back. Um, I'm not 100% yet, like the worst has passed, but I took medicine before I started streaming, so hopefully we'll just be good. 
I'm gonna play it by ear today. Just kind of like feel it out and see how I'm doing. We're working on my cottagecore plot today. Probably gonna start my mansion layout, but I'm quickly uh, trying to get this centerpiece back in my restaurant plot. That's a huge work in progress. Oh, I wonder how the Paltex stuff would look in here. Like the little vents and everything. Th this is new stuff. I, I haven't figured out how I wanted to use these yet. These actually would look really cute, like the vents and stuff. Like not all the uh, more industrial looking things because this I'd much rather say for maybe like an outdoorsy area. But I'm meaning like the vents could be pretty cute in here. Like give it a little pop of color. I wonder how that would look. Is this one a floor or a wall? That's a floor. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna use these. Let's put this one like right there. And then we'll do a smaller one. How about like off centered a little bit? Like right there. I think this is a wall one if I remember correctly. Uh, Yeah, okay, so this one, I think I'm gonna save that cause I wanna use it for my um, smithing area. I almost said blacksmith cause I'm so like used to playing in shrouded right now. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, think Palea. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth, I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to kind of take things slow and see how I'm feeling. It's, I hate that I've been so late on streams, but between my dog dying and then getting the stomach flu, it's just, I'm really running behind. It's been very, very hard the last few weeks, but I feel like I'm kind of getting back to being my normal self again. So that's a good thing, that's a plus. I'm trying to stay positive, you know? It's all you really can do when you have so much happen back to back, you only really can just look at the positives. That's how you get through the hard times. All right, there we go. I was gonna use this too. I had this place somewhere, but I think one of my friends was a hater about it and didn't like it. So I think I'll, I'll remove that. By haters, I think it was Brick. I think Brick hated on it. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, give me like five to 10 minutes and I'll be on. No rush, you're good. Like, I'm gonna be working. It doesn't even have to be today. I'm gonna be working on other plots. I just wanna get my food at least back in order on, on this table. There we go. Yeah, there's like these little hot dogs and also, I don't know if I have the sashimi recipe. If I do, I don't have enough to make it. See, I'm a freeloader and I get my friends to come over here and cook with me because I usually don't have ingredients because I sell them. So then I'm like, let's cook and do our weeklies. And they're like, what do you have to throw in here, Nora? And I'm just like, uh, nothing. <laughs> and then they go through that every single Sunday with me. You think they would learn, but they don't. All right, let's grab this. Kristen, hello, hello. Hey, you know what? At least I know and I'm honest about my faults. <laughs> I am honest. I know I'm a freeloader. <laughs> Y'all calling me out now. But you see the, that it's healthy that I recognize that I got issues. <laughs> Y'all are so mean to me. Let me continue to be a freeloader in peace. Please and thank you. All right, we're gonna move, like angle this back. There we go. But yeah, what are y'all working on in Paleo? Like, what is your goal today? My goal is to obviously do mostly like designing this stream, but I wanna try to go hunting and see if we can get that plush at, at some point. All right, let's get this over here. Oh, hello, Kristen. Where am I gonna put? This one, we'll, we'll like rotate this, kind of hide, like maybe right there. And then I got, oh yeah, these. You know, this food has been sitting here for weeks. It's probably so spoiled by now, but we don't have to tell the customers that. They don't have to know. And then we're gonna also grab, is that more, more oysters? Yeah, it is. Now the table back there, like the little counters, that's not how I'm gonna leave the decor either. That's just kind of was me seeing um, what recipes I have. We're gonna grab this. Yeah, I need to do some more flower hunting too. There is a flower limit, by the way, in the game. Like 
I think the devs said, now they're not exactly correct on this, not the devs, one of the um, Singularity 16 members, uh, said that they think the cap is at 1,000 flowers, but don't quote them. So just keep that in the back of your mind, that there is a limit, but it does not count towards your item limit. It's a different limit. So if you're making flower fields, make sure you're planting them accordingly. I kind of hope that they just remove the limit. Like, don't give me an item limit. Let me go crazy. All right, let's put this over here. Yeah, you can buy them off of Ani, but it's kind of a waste of tokens too, especially if you're trying to like save up for items. Like I want multiple of Ani's items. So I kind of made the big mistake of purchasing these, but I needed to get a head start on them. So if you can like save your tokens. Um, let's see, what else do we have in here that I can do? Oh yeah, I forgot that we had these. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that we get these now. Yes, okay, so we're gonna grab these. How cute. Now I can steal some uh, food off my tables and do one that's like really nice and set up. I promise I am gonna start on my cottage, okay? I just forgot that I had this. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Oh, that's right. We got this. Okay, let me grab all of these. I know for a fact that I do not have a lot crafted right now. I'm probably going to need to like request some. Let me look and see what else I have. Is that the only new cookingware stuff that we got? I think it is. I think that is everything. Just double checking. Oh, yeah. I use these. These are really good little fillers. <laughs> I did, I sent you a friend request like a long time ago. I think you accepted it, unless you are talking to somebody else. What else do we got in here? I'm looking to see, oh, yep, we need to grab two of these. And grabbing this. I need to go fishing more, so I can get multiple of those. Uh, what other pieces do we got? I think that's everything until obviously, you know, I come across more stuff. Like we can take things from the table. I forgot that we got these. Hi, Alan. Welcome into the stream. How are you today? Hope you're doing good. All right. So we're going to do this back over here. I'm so excited. I forgot that I had these new little pieces. Yeah, I probably should do my wallpapers in my locked storage. It, it would definitely be a little bit more organized. It's not a bad idea. It's a wonderful idea. I need some sort of organization. I wish they would let you organize things like they do on Enshrouded because you can like do things by categories and that would be such a huge help. You're fine, Break. Literally, do not stress it. Like, I will be working on a different plot shortly. So, like, it doesn't have to be today. All right, there we go. We'll probably do some hunting, honestly. We can do this a different day. All right, let's place this right here. Oh, I wonder how these are going to look. Oh, <gasps> so cute. Okay. And then, oh, my gosh. I finally have gotten time to place these. Like... I really haven't had much time to play Paleo lately with everything going on with pickle passing and then being sick. So like, this is like a first look for me finally to place these. <laughs> cute, so cute. Monica, hello, hello, welcome in. For not feeling well, you sound great. That's because the worst has passed. The worst has passed. I mean, I'm still dizzy and I get slight nausea, but you can also thank Jet for giving me some medication. Girl is an MVP, sent me medication when I was at my worst. Brick, on the other hand, was so kind and told me how horrible I sound. He's like, you really sound like butt. And I'm like, thank you. I feel like it too. <laughs> See, true friends make fun of you when you're not feeling good. At least that's what I think. All right, there we go. We'll put those right here. Are these, do I only have small plates? Is there a bigger... I think there is, let's check these. Yeah, we're gonna put those right here. Maybe I could move, let's see. Maybe I can move the um, plates over into this one. I think that would be great. 
I know I really do want a search bar. Like it's so annoying to have to go through like all of this stuff every single time. All right, and then we'll do the cutting board right there. You know what, I we're gonna be working on so many different plots today, so I feel like it's good that we're actually putting some effort in to get this back in order in here. That way, I feel like I've gotten a lot done. So we're gonna work on my rest, restaurant plot, and then we're gonna work on the cottage plot and hopefully get started on the mansion today. That's the goal. But my gut says I'll probably take super long with the cottage core one. All right, and then we'll do, I, w I wish that we could place things in the sink, make it look like dirty dishes, you know? I can't believe I'm actually saying that, but I need some dirty dishware. Like, let me have like food crumbs and leftovers. I'm probably a weirdo and the only person who wants that, but I do. Okay, so let me go back to my cottage. There we go. And then we're gonna grab and craft. Do I even have enough to make more of the gourmet furniture? Okay, cool. We're gonna craft one of these. We're gonna do one of each for now and kind of go with there. So Paley has been going good. I don't know if you knew about this, but if you go hunting right now, each Cernuke is dropping a plushie. Now it is random, but they are dropping them. So it's like lucky coins basically, to put it in a simple way. Like you, you don't know if you're gonna get it from the loot each time, but they each drop their own themed plushie. So I wanna go hunting at some point in hopes that I'll get it. <laughs> um, but I hope you're doing good. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Let's make four of those. Didn't I grab some flatware? I thought I did. I, ne I know I need to make some more of those. Oh man, someone needs to gift me some more ceramic. Or I need to go get more clay. I'm gonna get one of these. And then... You know, I could have a really cute little shelf full of pots and pans now. I'm so excited about that. Okay, grabbing that. Like I said, I don't want to focus too hard on my restaurant just because I really do want to get started on, oops, that's not the right one. Nope, that's not the right one. There we go. On my other plot, there we go. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna do with the other plates like in here. Uh, is that centered? I should be, there we go. And then we'll do a stack of bowls like over here. Maybe I'll like stage them. Like it looks like there's dirty dishes being ready to get washed over here. Like kind of just make it sloppy. And then I'll do another plate. Like, can I not like off center the taller plate? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. And then I'll do a stack like right there. Make it look like the dishes need to get washed, you know? Yeah, I think, I don't think it's limited from what I was told to each area. So I think you can get it in both Bahari and um, Kilima. At least that's what we were told. But you're not supposed to be able to get bugs like the flowers in Bahari, and you can right now, so who knows? Things are bugged right now, literally. Um, okay, so let me choose, what table am I gonna take some of the food from? I'll do this one, it has less on it. We'll bring this over, and do I not have enough space for this? I don't think I do. Okay, well, I'll just save that, I'll put it on the floor over here, I'll just save that for a different table. Because I'm planning to do a fancy dining area, like in this room. Like they're going to be color themed. So we're going to have like a blue color theme. And I don't know what color I'm going to do over here yet. But I wanted to have two fancy dining areas. And then out here is going to lead to like a fancy outdoor kitchen in the gazebo. Then we're going to have like a bar, like an outdoorsy bar over here. So I got plans. It's just I need to get things finished <laughs> I've been making a lot of progress though so we're, we're, we're getting there 
All right, um, let's do, we're gonna make this one look like it's been set up for a new guest. We're gonna leave the tea. We're gonna grab the hot dogs. We're gonna move this back over, like off center it, I think. And then we're just gonna like set the table over here. I think I need another plate. Yeah, I need to go make another plate. Can't even tell, is I even centered? Brick is probably gonna be like so sick of me. There we go. There we go, okay. Well, it's good enough. We can have Brick fix it later. Cause we know it'll bother him. Um, and then we're gonna get another hot dog. Where am I gonna put this though? On the floor. <laughs> Cause I don't know where I'm gonna place it yet. We're just gonna throw all the food on the floor and hope that nobody gets food poisoning eventually. Cause some of this has been sitting for weeks. Maybe I can go give it to Eshe. She drives me mad. All right, so then we're gonna do one more plate, I think, is what I need. There we go. Yes, we got, I got that plushie and I got one that's in my mail. They're on my work plots right now. Do I have enough to make, where is it? The other plate? I don't, okay, we're gonna request it. I really need to go resource gathering, so don't judge me. I've used a lot of resources the other um, day because I was crafting, so I'm kind of like out of everything. So we got that requested. Uh, do I have enough for this? Okay, so one, two, three, because I have four total. Palea, eight hours to download. Are you doing it on Steam? or launcher because my steam does not take that long to download games on there and then we'll do wow i really need to get some more bars made thank you kristen thank you thank you you know i really hope that they give us more like opportunities to request things for people like me who are slacking and using up resources too quickly like a like cool down the um the hot rate that you can request stuff what was i needing those for oh yeah another dinner plate there we go perfect all right so let's go back oh you're doing it on the switch <laughs> oh geez uh, yeah that that might that might download a little slow <laughs> I, I can't help you there you should just get it on steam yeah because the Switch would load it slower, at least to download. But I would say download it on the Switch regardless. I mean, then you have two options. There we go. Is that too... Okay, there we go. Palea is super, super fun. It's like Disney Dream My Valley, uh, Stardew Valley, and The Sims all in one game with a little bit of, of Zelda too, because there's some puzzles in it and temples. It's really laid back. The game is still getting tons of updates too. Like we have actual pathing coming. They just released a um, dev notes the other day. So lots, are, lots is coming, which I can't wait. Now, if they could just give me Tamala's decor, that would be great. I mean, as a paleo partner, Y'all should take my advice, okay? Because we need, <laughs> we need that decor so bad. Oh my gosh. Eventually they're gonna kick me from the partner program because I keep asking for Tamala stuff. It's gonna happen. Or they'll finally be like, we need to make Nora stop complaining. So let's just give her Tamala's decor so she hushes up. <laughs> Your laptop won't let you play Palea on it? Oh man, that sucks. Definitely, if you have the Switch, play it on the Switch then. Uh, okay, let's do this one right there so we can kind of like hide in the gap over there. Just a little bit better. We do need book decor, yes. I would love to be able to clutter with books. Like imagine making a library. <gasps> especially with like the mansion home. Oh my gosh, I would faint. 
please, <laughs> please give me book decor. Little like cottagecore outdoorsy sitting areas. Like imagine the possibilities. <laughs> That's why I will never be a partner. <laughs> yep, you're always here, always, always being like, how can I help the Paleo team? Let me, let me send them a support ticket. <laughs> They're just like, oh man, that brick be gaming person. They're in our DMs again. I mean, you've given some really great ideas and suggestions, in my opinion. I feel like you have some wonderful suggestions. I really do. All right, we're gonna put this right here. Maybe I'll, I'll put the fancy like plate over here for now. I love all the food clutter. Chrissy, hello, thank you so much for being a member for seven months, let's go. How are you today, friend? I hope you're doing good. Man, my nausea is like slowly coming back, y'all. So I might need to take some more uh, medicine. We're, we're trying our best today, you know? Not everyone can stream with the stomach flu, but I'm also very stubborn. So we're just gonna roll with it. It is the best I've felt in days. So I'm trying to look at that as a fact that I'm getting better slowly, but being nauseous is not fun. Um, give me a second. I'm gonna take a drink of my water real quick. You have an office with no books. See, that's why I'm just like, we, we need to be able to um, get book clutter. All right, look, I am not gonna make this because here at the Poo Crew Cafe, we are not proper. So I am not making my flatware the way it usually should look on a table, okay? We're very improper over here. So if it bothers you, good. That's what we strive for over here at the Poo Crew Cafe. We want you to feel bothered. Where should I put the spoon? Maybe I'll just do a fork and a knife because I mean like there's no soup over here. Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> I'm a little frustrated with my lack of progress on my tailored coat because I hate hand sewing. I wish I knew how to sew. My mom tried to teach me, but I was in high school and I thought I was too cool to learn how to sew. Like I was just like, why would I wanna learn how to sew? And then my mom told me that one day you're gonna have a kid and you're gonna wanna be able to make things for her. And I was like, no, I won't. Well, fast forward. I wish I would have learned how to sew. And I know I still can, but I just don't have enough time. Like things are just too, too busy nowadays, especially with the channel. Uh, all right, there we go. And then we'll do a fork over here. Is that gonna like clip in? You can barely even see it. All right, well, I don't have enough resources to fully decorate it. So I'll, I'll have to finish it a different day. Then I'm gonna go put this back in the kitchen because I stole that for a build. We'll put that up here. Yeah, like why don't we have book clutter? I could name and list out so many things in Paleo right now that I wish we had that we just don't have. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. That's really special too. She's gonna love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so I think I got my kitchen finally somewhat back in order on my restaurant. Let me now go to the cottage core plot. Oh my gosh, crocheting is really fun. I did learn how to do that, but then I forgot it. But that was the one thing I actually ended up taking a suggestion from my mom to learn how to do. All right, there we go. Let's do, where's all my other flowers? I've been putting flowers in the storage that I don't need. And then we're gonna put this one Where's the other pink ones? Right here. You can also collect seeds from these too, by the way. So they will drop seeds and you can plant them. So I need to check and see if I have any. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna try, I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do the cutting board like pathway or if I wanna do the rock pathway. My only negative with the rock pathway is I'm not worried about the item limit. What I'm worried about is the grass kinda of like clips through it. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that, but we can look at it. Y'all give me one second, I'm gonna take another drink of my water. Yeah, I don't, um, 
I don't know if I want PVE. But that's just me. All right, get seeds right there. It would be nice to have an optional though, like maybe have them in like certain temples. Like they do the, uh, the tower, like it's an optional thing. Maybe you could do it as like an achievement if you wanted, but it's not gonna like force you story-wise. Cause I know not everyone's into, you know, fighting and stuff. All right, let's go ahead and put that in here and get seeds. Look, I'm getting a pretty nice um, collection so far. There we go. Is that everything so far? Which other ones do I need to farm? I was going so well on the coat when I was using the sewing machine. I'm supposed to get the coat finished by the 12th of April. Any special occasion on why you're making it or are you just doing it because it's one of your favorite things to do? Sounds like a big project though. I hope it goes well. All right, watering those. Cause I need these. I know I'm gonna use pinks and purples. I don't know if I'm planning to use the yellow and oranges. I might use them on a different plot, but I just, I don't know if I wanna use all the colors. You know, I'm going for very soft witchy colors. So that's why I'm thinking about sticking to the blue, purple and pink color palette. Plus those are like, my top three favorite colors. I do like orange, but still. I also like green. I wish I had like a green flower. That would be nice. We need more flowers. Like there's there's actually, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but we do need the other flowers in the world still. Like there's these tiny little dandelions, little white daisies. So I do hope to see those added in and the other flowers from Bahari we still haven't gotten. I'm wondering if they're gonna add like more flowers with like each patch or something. I mean, I feel like that would be really nice to do and be awesome because then we would have other different color combinations and like bushes too. Like give me these little bushes, you know? Give me these to decorate with. I, I need all the greenery. Yeah, a lot has definitely been added. All right, let's do these right here. I'm definitely getting a good collection going. I feel like these flowers would be gorgeous for like a fall plot. I want sunflowers too. Sunflowers would be awesome. I have like so many of these right now. All right, there we go. Well, I hope your project goes well, Chrissy. It sounds like you're enjoying it too. So that's what also matters. All right, watering all of this. Then we can start figuring out the beginning of my layout. Where is my well? Okay, it's over here. I have a lot of the new furniture set crafted, but I do need to get more of that. Like I said, I need to do some more resource grinding. Yeah, uh, Palea is still in early uh, access. Or no, sorry, I'm thinking of Enshrouded. <laughs> Open beta. There we go. Okay, more seeds, grabbing these. Like these and the other flowers I'm using tons of. So I wanna make sure I have those. I also need at some point, cause I'm stunting the growth like you do on Animal Crossing of trees so I have different heights. So I have like stage one, stage two, and um, these need to be stage three. So I need to water them. So I'm trying to have different heights and stuff cause we're gonna make my forest really overgrown. Like I just want such a nice cozy candlelit forest vibe over here. I also need to get my wallpaper back on my house and stuff. All right, watering this. And then I have also this really tall tree, which I still can water. How tall is this thing gonna get? Like I've been watering this jet, by the way, if you're still here, remember how you thought your tree was tall? Girl, it's getting taller. <laughs> It still lets me water it. Like how tall is this thing gonna get? Um, but the biggest tree is gonna be like the center of like the little cul-de-sac sort of vibe that I'm gonna go for in this spot over here. But like, geez, I've been watering that constantly. All right, so let me get the big tree and we're gonna move it. I think I'm gonna do like 
a little round cul-de-sac thing and then the path kind of curves and then we'll do another continuation of the curving pathway to kind of go this way to lead up to the other part of the house and over here is going to be like where my garden is i want to actually do like a greenhouse too so i think a greenhouse would be perfect for this all right there we go Oh, I was talking about combat, not you. <laughs> You're good. Um, okay, is that where I want this? And then we'll curve it. You know, I feel like I might need to push my house back again. Like I, I was pulling it up in case I do the other pathway, but I do want it to be further back like maybe about right here that way because this i think it, which way is it is it this way that goes to bahari i can do a little pathway thing leading up to that also did y'all know by the way sorry if my frame rate occasionally drops paleo has been kind of buggy for me i saw this on twitter did you know you can place these inside the koi pond like i just found that out like look at that you can place those in here. We can decorate the gazebo. And I also saw somebody, where is it at? Do some decorating over here, which I don't understand how they were able to do that, but they had decor like right here in the pond. Or was it like right here? I think it was over in this spot. I don't know how they managed to do it, but there was like water decor over here. But again, I don't know how they were able to do that because our plot doesn't go all the way over there. But that was something that I noticed on a different post. Yeah, it's so cute. It's a great way to kind of like spruce this up a little. So I might actually put those in there, but I want to keep the color palette. Oh my gosh, if it keeps growing taller than that, I honestly don't even know what to expect. Like I keep watering it and it keeps getting taller. And this is like about 10 times of watering it now. And it says mature. So why is it still growing? <laughs> it just, it's never ending. Okay, so where do I wanna do this one? Maybe angle it. How far does it go to my plot? This way. I might need to save this for a different spot possibly, but I really like this item too. I mean, I really want to use this because then I could do candles and stuff. Maybe I need to move this up a little more. Like center it maybe. But I thought doing it off centered could look really cute too. But let's try it centered and see what we think. Give me a second, friends. I feel a cough coming. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna keep it centered for now. And then let me get my cutting boards because we're gonna try that one first. And then I'll get the stone pathing. I mean, I like it, but the grass clips through. So I don't know how I feel about that. Let's go ahead and grab two of these. And then we're gonna grab the cutting boards. Now, I did consider if I go with the blue, purple, and pink color palette, I might, I don't know, it won't be centered. <laughs> well, now it can haunt you for a while. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's not going to be centered. Deal with it. Deal with it. Give me one moment. All right, so far, nausea-wise, I'm doing okay. It does come in waves, but I'll go take some more medicine in a second. But other than that, in like an occasional cough, I feel I feel pretty good. I'm just over the stomach flu, you know? Um, Where is those cutting boards? I know I have a ton of them because I made a ton of them. I probably passed over them, I think. Let me just go a little bit slower. Um, yeah, I just wish we could search things. That'd be great. Am I like losing my mind? 
<laughs> I think I passed by them again. Okay, we're gonna make this easier and just go into decor and scroll up slowly. Cause I know that I've made a good portion of them. I think I might've like stacked them in my storage. Now that I think about it, let me look a little bit slower. I'm looking. Okay, I don't see them right here, but I think they're coming up. Where are they? Cause I need those just in case we go with that option. Okay, there they are. <laughs> I was thinking I could do like a blue, purple, pink combination with the candles. If I go with that color palette, cause this can be like a very girly, witchy plot if I go with that vibe. Or I can go with the neutral cottage core vibe that I had too. I'm honestly thinking about doing two different plots because I can't decide because I like my, um, the witchy house that I had, like the vibe of it. And if you don't know what it looks like, just scroll on my live tab and you'll see like this little spell nook that I did. So that was like the color palette of this. And then let me go also customize a couple of these cutting boards. So I'm thinking about doing this color and these two colors, but these two could be really cute together. But let's, let's do two of these, two of these, okay? And then we'll do two, no, whoops, that's the wrong one. Two of these, just in case I would go with the cutting board option. No worries, thank you, Alan. Hopefully your valley uh, design goes, goes well too. All right, and then we're gonna grab, let's see. I think I'm gonna grab some blue flowers. These pink ones, grab several of these so I can have them. There we go. I'm gonna grab like a row of these. We'll get more if I need to. Oh, it looks like I need to water them and grab several of these too. There we go. Yeah, my game has been freezing and I've been losing uh, server connection a lot too. So hopefully that makes you feel better that it's not just you having issues. My frames have been dropping. I hope we get like a hot fix soon. All right, and then we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna round, like do this one right here. Oh, I need to water that tree again. And then let's see, this one right here. And then I'll, in, in between these, I'll do like smaller flowers. And then we're gonna do this one over here. There we go. Give me a second, friends. I'm gonna go get some more water. I'm out of it. I'm trying my best to stay hydrated since I haven't really ate anything for about four days and I'm still not fully ready to eat. So I've been trying to keep myself hydrated. So I'm gonna go get some more um, water real fast. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Thank you so much y'all for waiting. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, if you are just popping in, I'm, I'm currently sick with the stomach flu. So I'm not fully over it yet. I am on the mend though. Like I definitely feel the best I have in days, but we're just kind of moving slower today. So just bear with me. All right. And then we're going to water this tree again. Like, did it get taller? 
I can't tell if, if, if it got taller or what. It looks like it's about the same height. I really want it to be like, you know, those really giant willow looking trees in town. I really want that tree. That tree would be so stinking gorgeous, especially like as a centerpiece. Okay, so I think I've got all of those watered. Then I'm gonna take, where is it? I thought I'd picked up a little, where is it? A little candle item. Where did it go? Did I leave it over here? I think I might've thought to myself, pick this up. I, I don't know where it went. Oh wait, is it right there? <laughs> I swear, if it was right in front of me, oh my gosh. It was right here, wow. <laughs> I was like, am I losing it? The answer was yes. I'm definitely losing it, because it's right in front of me, oh my gosh. Okay, then we're gonna take these cute little purple flowers. They're like smaller than the lavender. Kinda like fill these in a little bit. Did it kick me out of the party again? Oh my gosh, Palea. <laughs> that's another thing that's been going on is like you you get kicked out of the party for no, uh, no reason. So hopefully that also gets patched. I really wish though that if the, once this is fully grown, can we remove uh, this dirt pile and just do grass or something? Cause that would be nice looking. I know, but then again, party usually always hates me, Mary, so it's really nothing different for me. <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm used to Palea not liking me when I'm in a party. All right, we're gonna do this one, like right here. And then I think in these gaps, I'm gonna do bushes and stuff. So let's go get that. Oh, my frame keeps like dropping a little bit. Then it fixes itself. Okay, so we're gonna get these smaller bushes, and we gotta be careful about watering uh, my flowers and stuff because we don't want these to get watered. These are my stage two, so I'm grabbing one of those and I'm grabbing one of those. Yeah, like we're used to Palea never working for me. We're used to it. When they finally fix the party issue though and I no longer crash, I will be so thankful. <laughs> so tired of Palea kicking me out. Oh man. Should I do the baby tree maybe? Like right here? That's a cute little spot I think. Like do the baby tree right there and then do a smaller like little shrub tree right there. And these will not grow as long as you water them. So I love that. I just wish that they would hide, like give me the option, like are you done watering this tree? Yes, and then hide the little watering thing. But you don't see it unless you're like right up to the tree. So I'm not gonna stress too much on it. But I do wish that could be added maybe. I think it'd be a nice feature. Is this a taller one? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, perfect. We're gonna do a taller one. We're gonna do like a little bit of layering over here because this side is gonna be very overgrown with exception of like a pathway kind of like curving over here. So we want this to be nice and overgrown. How does that look behind? Don't know if I should move this back a smidge kind of get a nice little tiered effect. Yeah, I like that, okay. And then we got this little baby tree. We'll put we'll put this one kind of like off-centered a little and sneak in a couple little items. That's cute. Okay, and then we'll do, let's see what pathing we want. That's gonna be the big question because the, the cutting board pathway is gonna use less. Okay, so we got like the cute little stepping stones we could do with that one, but what color? Also, let me go get my candles. That's also gonna kind of contribute to how I want this. All right, going into the decor. My goal is to try to get this pathway pretty much started and fill in some greenery around it and then work on some transition. So I'm very hopeful that I can be productive. 
Let me grab that too, because that glows. Um, where are my candles? Okay, so we got these, which I'll grab a couple, but I know that there's better options. Like the Halloween candles we got are so gorgeous, especially at nighttime. We got these ones. We're gonna grab like a row of those candles. Well, I'm gonna grab like four to start with because I got other ones I need to get too. We also have the makeshift candles, which are really pretty. So we're gonna get those too if I have any. I know I'm gonna need to go do some fishing. I'm talking about these ones right here. The thin candles have such a great illumination to them. Have they always stacked like that? I think they do. Yizzy, welcome in. How are you today? Thank you so much for being here on the stream. We also got these candles too, which I don't know if I wanna use those. Thank you so much, dude. I, and that means a lot. Adriana, a member for 12 months. Thank you so much for your membership. My very first member. I'm never going to forget that. Thank you for 12 stinking months. Let's go. You're the best. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing good today, friend. How are you doing? And then we're going to grab these two. I love these ones. Oh my gosh, the orange. Yeah, I've been sick with the stomach flu. I'm like not fully over it, but I'm on the men. So other than like having a few symptoms left over, I'm doing pretty good. Are the winter lights candles fixed yet? Do we know? Cause they've been glitched. I don't know if they're fully functional yet. I'm gonna grab them just in case, but I don't know for sure. Uh, is that it? I think it is. I forgot that we had those. We also got the taller ones, like right here. Let me put that back and get those two. Oh my gosh, it like messed me up. Where where was I? There we are. I also got these ones too. So, can I just rotate? No, it won't let me rotate them in. Pooey, we'll get rid of the food then. <laughs> Oh, you just woke up. Well, good morning. I hope you're doing good today. Oh wait, you just said you're doing good. <laughs> my brain is not is not here. Oh my gosh, why am I such a hooligan? Why am I like this? All right, let's go put these over here and see. I'll put this probably like off to the side over here what won't it let you do wait these were lit oh there they are okay <laughs> i was so confused i was like uh where are my cute little blue candles okay so we got that one i am gonna need to do more blue like blue and orange i'm gonna need some pink candles that'd be great all right, and then we'll do this candle like right there. And the Halloween ones. Oh yeah, um, I think it's random when it lets you do your membership tier. Like I, I don't get them all the time. I think it, it does it randomly. Like if it's never let you done, uh, do that, then I don't know why it wouldn't. But I know for, for me personally, when I have my memberships, it doesn't let me do it all the time either. So probably, probably is a bug. Yes, like this stream, it really does help me out. Thank you so much for being here with me y'all too. Being sick is not a fun experience whatsoever. So the fact that y'all are just here hanging with me means a lot. Giving me some company while I feel like poo. All right, picking all this up because I don't really like that clutter there. I think I just kind of want this to be like its own little thing. Cute. Definitely won't be on the level of Jet's amazing pathway, but that's okay. Ooh, okay, I'm kind of leaning towards the pink and purple pathway, honestly. Yeah, I think this plot's going to be pink and purple again. I mean, I just really love that combination. Trying to set if I want to do, how do I want this pathway to go? Oh, it does let you do it once a month? Gotcha. 
See, I don't really care for the blue one, which I can't believe I'm saying that because I like the blue. So I think I'm just gonna do uh, pink. No, I'm sadly not really into Mario anymore. Like I used to be a huge, huge Mario fan. But as I get older, I'm kind of like drawn to um, games like Paleo and Entrouded and stuff. Like I just can't really get into Mario anymore. But my daughter, loves Mario and Kirby. So she, I'm getting it for her, but I don't think I'm gonna be playing it now. If you're looking for somebody who is playing it though and doing awesome content on there, um, oh, I'm having a brain fart. Beacon of Nick, one of my greatest content creator friends is doing content on it. And even though I don't play the game, his streams are just so good and really laid back. So I definitely recommend going to check him out. But yeah, just like cozy gaming nowadays is kind of what I do. I'm not really like into platforming games anymore, which is sad too, because I used to love playing them as a kid, but it just, it is what it is. Maybe I'll like off center these a little bit, like rotate them kind of like that way and then let them kind of curve. Yeah, my mom actually loves Paper Mario. She's gonna love playing that. There we go. Like off center them this way and then kind of do it like that. Or I could, let's see, there's two different ways we can go about this. I like this way a lot, but we can do one this way and then like obviously rotate them regardless because you don't want them matchy. See, there's this way, and this would feel a little bit more minimal, I think, which I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of like the idea of it looking a little bit more full, but this could be a great way to at least get it mapped out. What do y'all think? It doesn't have to be structured because it's cottage core. Maybe like this and then let it connect over. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Mario is really fun to watch, but I just can't play it. See, I can't get into Roblox either, but my daughter is like obsessed with Roblox. All right, and then we're gonna do this one over here. Maybe I'll keep it like that and then fill in like in between with items and stuff. I really need more like bushes and tall grass. That would be awesome. Like, you know how like Disney Dream My Valley has beach grass? <laughs> I, need, I need my beach grass. All right, we'll do this one like right behind. We're gonna make this really overgrown. I definitely need to get more tall um, trees too. Do I have any that I can start growing to make taller? Yeah, let's do this one. How many days does it take to fully grow a tree? Do we have the answer to that question? Because I'm gonna need to do two really tall ones. We're also gonna take this tree and this tree, get those watered too. There we go. Yeah, I get it. There's some games that are super nostalgic for me, so I still play them. But I'm, I'm like, Mario is one of those games. Like I grew up with it. I don't understand why I, I um, can't enjoy it anymore, but it's still really fun to see people play it. But I am really sad that it's like one of those games that I just am not playing anymore. But I guess it happens. Like you, you grow out of playing certain games. So at some point it does happen in life, but still sucks. Yeah. You got a plush? Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it. How many deer did it take? I'm gonna remain hopeful. Cause like I'm 200 arrows in and I still haven't gotten one. Yeah, I think we're gonna do the pathway kind of curving this way and then kind of loops around the tree. That being said, I might need to... Ooh, 
Ooh, I can clutter these really nicely. Might need to like clutter that in right there. Yeah, let's do that. Mickey! Oh man, me and Kat and Kristen have been trying to get these plushies for like ever. So I'm so jealous, you don't even know. All right, let me place all these down so I can kind of see what colors I got. Pink. All right, let's get more. Is Are these also not lit right now? <gasps> They're lit. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited about that. Okay, cool. We're gonna get that placed. So I have a reminder. Oh, there we go. Okay, I do have a light pink one. See, I want all of them. So, so bad. Jealous, extremely jealous. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're gonna probably be one of those people, Kat, where we don't get it until like a thousand year later. Then when we finally get them, we're gonna be celebrating. Where is my other cutting boards? There we go. We have so many to customize. I'm probably gonna need to get more customization kits. I just know it. I'm grabbing this. I can't believe you got one. Isn't that so exciting? It finally gives me a reason to want to do hunting. Like, I'm so excited about that. Like, what a fun feature, like to get plushies from hunting. Please don't take this away from us, Palea. Gives me motivation to actually do it. But I'm so excited to get one. All right, so we got that. And now we need to customize. I need, let's see. A hot pink one. Let's grab this for now. Oh my gosh, did I really just try to water that? <laughs> okay, so let's do this one right here. We're gonna spread this one out just a smidge. All right, and then grabbing this customization. We're gonna do pink, because we're going for the pink and purple vibes for my witchy plot. The interior is gonna be so fun to do. And I would like, I'm gonna mix in green too, but honestly, it's very hocus pocus colored now that I think about it. Okay, so hot pink. Well, I say hot pink, but it's more like, like uh, a magenta. Grabbing this, there we go. Got a ways to go still with the, the pathway, but I think it's coming along. Now I don't remember which one was which, so we're gonna, that one needs to be customized. So I'm gonna put that over here, the ones that I need to customize still. Okay, so hot pink. Okay, need to customize that still. Um, okay, light pink. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I'll come look at it after stream, but I'm so excited to get it. We will get me a plushie. <laughs> I want it so bad. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I say I don't want to spoil, but I want to see it. <laughs> okay, let me come see it. Oh my gosh. So like, if you didn't know, you get three different plushies from hunting the Cernix. So, well, four different plushies. The magic deers are dropping two right now. So this is what I've been trying to get. Oh my gosh, look how cute. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait. Okay, wow, I'm really bad at this. Try to get it. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh, I did not mean to, <laughs> did not mean to take pictures. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh. Cannot wait to get mine. Cannot wait. Now, if the game would actually give me the plushie, that'd be great. Wow, he's so adorable. I told you. I told you. So cute. All right, and then let's do pink. I know, and the fact that it gives me a reason to do hunting right now. So adorable. Okay, what else is right here? There we go. And then, is this one customized? No. Okay, so we need to do some more like hot pink, but I think I'll just do like half and half. Why is it not letting me pick this up? I'm telling you, if I just lost server connection, because it does that, it I think it's gonna kick me off the server. 
Yep. I think I lost server connection because I can't uh, pick anything up. Okay, give me a second, friends. I got to reboot the game. Yeah, I lost server connection. I'll be right back. <laughs> telling you the game hates me <laughs> see right when i'm like productive and doing something with my plot the game's like nah girl you you getting out of here we're kicking you i every time i can't pick up an item I, that's when i know the server kick is about to happen hopefully it kept some of the stuff that i did i know like i'm so extremely jealous like i need that plushie hopefully it'll give it to me soon all right there we go then we're gonna do pink, pink, and a hot pink one. There we go, okay. So let's place these down so we know, you know, what colors we got until I don't have to like, wait, I missed that one? I was, I didn't wanna have to dig, you know. I, I guess I missed that. All right, we'll do hot pink. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's place these down. That is not the dark pink one. Light pink. Literally, I'm telling you, I will be hunting for such a long time to get those plushies. So I am really jealous right now. Just saying. Yeah, we're going to make this curved. That'll be cute. It reminds you of Stitch. It does, actually. Yeah, when I saw those, I was like, oh my gosh. It's a need. It is a need. Yeah, that's cute, okay. I know the Proud Horde one's probably gonna be so cute looking. What am I, okay, I think I'm gonna do it this way. Like kind of off center it a little. Yeah, that works. It doesn't have to be structured and even. I just want it to have some rotation. Like we will have some duplicate colors here and there and that's, that's whatever. How do I want to do this though? Like, how do I want it to curve? I think that's as good as a curve I'm gonna get, to be honest. All right, and then we'll do the pink one like this way, I think. I feel like I should probably space these out a little bit more, you know? Like maybe I should space those out a little bit better. Not me having to redo this. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna space these out a little bit better. Like we'll do that one right there. And then we'll do this one kind of like off. Okay. And then we'll do this one about that way. Yeah, we're gonna space them out a little bit better. It doesn't have to be close up to each other. Cause I feel like that's a little too much. And then we'll do that one. Yeah, okay, that's better. Spacing them out a smidge will look a little bit nicer too. And then I can like fill in around it with greenery and stuff. Okay, and then we'll do this one rotated about this way. I can't believe you got a plushie, Mary. I was up so late just hunting in hopes that I would find one and no luck, so kind of jelly, not fair. We will find me one though, I'm determined. All right, I think, now the ankle's gonna be kind of difficult because we want it to go this way. So it won't be perfect, but that's all right. So there's my pink pathway option and then we also have 
this option, which is a little bit a pain to do. And, but the great thing is you can get them really nice and close to each other. So we also got that. And rotate these in. This was the pathway where I was like, I thought I was big brain energy. And then I realized that other people were doing it. But you see, I don't like that the grass kind of clips through it, but it could just also um, be me. So that could lead over here and connect up to this one too. Like there's two, there are two different options. I could also save this for in front of the, where is it? Oh, I think it's in my storage. It's like the little garden bench. So that's what I'm torn against. Do I want the cobblestone and use only these as like accents in between my garden? This will take me a little bit longer to do, but it could just be me overthinking stuff. Does the grass look bad clipping through this? Because if it doesn't, and I'm just being a hooligan, then I probably will say these, but now y'all see the general idea that I'm going for. For like my garden and little sitting areas. Oh, and I also had a brown one over here too. So that's how the brown one lo looks, but I'm going for purples and pinks. So that's kind of like my mindset at the moment. Let's move all these over here. Let me try it. Because we do like these and we it's super easy to do. Let's put them all over here. And then we'll do this one over here. I really hate that it's like slower to walk when you're picking up stuff. I'm just gonna like grab all these real quick. There we go. All right, so let's see how this looks. The curve though will be a little bit more difficult to do. So we'll do one rock there. And you have to kind of like play around with it because it'll try to connect these and we, we don't want that. So we'll do one right here. Hmm, I'm kind of digging, as much as I don't really care for the grass clipping through, I'm kind of digging this more. And then I'll save these for like my garden area. Like, that could be really cute having a garden bed with these rotating in between it and it still gives me my my purple colors. Maybe I'll do that. This is gonna be a little bit more time consuming, but I think it'll be worth it. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go for it. All right, we'll space this one out right there. So I'm wondering if I should get the general outline done and then fill in in between it. We'll see how this one goes. I don't want it to be too cluttered inside of each other because this does use more towards your limit. And it's not like I had to do my whole entire plot with this. It's just to lead up to that door. So I feel like it'll be fine. Cause like most of my plot is on this one at least is gonna be flowers and trees. It's gonna be very overgrown. All right, filling that in. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna go with this option and do the stepping stone with the cute little purples and pinks for in between my garden. That's cute. All right, throwing this one in. Els accept my friend request. I don't even know if Els has it loaded yet on Switch. I thought it was like loading slow. Oh shoot, did not mean to do that. So that is the con with doing this way. Yeah, okay, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it did. When, that, when you're up close, you can actually see the details. So I think that's actually really cute. Maybe we can throw a couple leaf piles like on top of it. That'll be nice. The question is like, how wide do I want this? Maybe keep it about the dimension of this bridge. Oh, she just did? Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah, let, we're gonna do this wide. I really, really need um, some more grass. Like, give me some tall grass options. Let's grab another bush. And I don't know if it's just me, but I run so slow now when I'm dragging items like this. I used to be able to like run. So I'm hoping that that's a bug and they can fix that. Cause I really miss being able to run with these. So we'll do a blue right there and then I'll sneak in. 
I got a purple. Oh, I had, I had them in my inventory this whole time. Oops. <laughs> uh, and then we'll do the purple like right there. And then I'll do another. Oops, that's, why is it grabbing my pathway? Why is it grabbing a candle? Why did it grab the bush? I did not mean to do that. All right, let me put this over here. There we go. Oh, what did you notice? Because I'm just over here rambling. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll do... Should I maybe put lavender on this side to kind of like break it up a little? Hmm. Yeah, I like that. And then I'll get... Where did I put my other wheelbarrow? I had one I filled up with sunflowers, which really don't match, but I thought this looked really cute with the sunflowers. You know, when I when I saw this, I thought of Kristen, because like Kristen has this fall kind of color palette on her plot. So this is like really up in your alley. I wonder how the other one would look filled with the dragon tide flowers. Oh yeah, we move really slow and it really is just making me so mad. No, I feel like that's too much right there. Maybe I'll do a barrel instead. Yeah, I just hate that we move so slow. A barrel with a candle? I know the wheelbarrow, it's so stinking adorable. It is so, so cute. Yeah, let's grab one of these. I wish we had like taller ones. And then I'll do a homestead candle on top of it and a candle lower. That would look pretty cute in that spot. And then we can just continue to fill in with bushes and trees. You can see this spot, so that's why I was like, we need to put something over here because it's near my entry. Yeah, that's a really cute item. They did so good with that. Do that one right here. And then I'll do... There. Yeah, we'll do that right there. It kind of takes away, though, I also, I think... From over on this side because this is i want it lit with candles the whole way when you're walking so maybe i should just keep it simple and just fill in with trees over there but i do like that spot but i kind of want the main focus to be the illuminated pathway all cernuks give a plushie they all have their own unique one so make sure you're hunting all three there's uh two plushies you can get from the magic deers All right, and then we'll do this one right here. That's why I'm like excited to do some hunting. Yeah, that's nice. And then rotate this one down so we can kind of have a more structured piece. Perfect, okay, so we're gonna curve this, loop it around the tree I don't care if I'm here for another two hours. <laughs> we are working on this pathway and then I'll fill in with greenery as I make progress. <laughs> and I need to water some more trees. I kind of hate that some of the trees don't just automatically be full grown like they used to. Makes me kind of sad. You were so productive recently and then Paleo had an update. See, why, why are we being productive when we should just be playing paleo all day? That's what I think. There we go. And then right there. Cute. Making progress. And then curving this way. And putting one right there. I think this is a nice size right here. I mean, it's, there's not much I can do until we get more like floral options. Do I move these a little bit closer to my path? Or do I keep it like a little bit more spread out? I kind of like them where they were. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you can steal it. 
I'm stealing your candle idea. You need to send me a picture of how you did your candle path. So I know what other items to add in here. Yes, thank you so much for all the likes today. Yeah, okay. And then we're gonna, I guess, loop it still, but I need to get more bushes. Like we need some smaller trees. I need to get more um, tiny little ones. Where are, where are they? Okay, this little green one. I need to go tree chopping at some point so I can get more of these. Cause this is gonna help kind of make it feel a little bit more full. So we'll, we'll kind of bring this one in a little bit cause it's more natural over here. Do I mix in these little pink ones? I think it'd be cute to do that. Ooh, <gasps> cute. Yeah, I'm definitely mixing in the pink ones. How stinking gorgeous are these flowers? Okay, and then I'll do one of these, like right here. And then we'll do a bigger tree like behind it. Can I water these over here yet? Like I'm patiently over here waiting to water this. I think this one's actually, is the young one like three days of growing? I think it is. Sunny, hello, hello, welcome in. I hope you're doing good. Yeah, let's, let's bring, yeah, that one's taller. Yeah, we'll bring that one in. But I think I need to put it like about right here. And then a tall like cedar tree behind this, which we're still working on slowly. We need to water this, but the tall cedar tree will go about right there. So imagine that one taller. We're gonna have to water this one. And I might push this one out just a smidge. Yeah, cute. Look at this, it's coming together. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh man. And you know what, for having the stomach flu too, I feel pretty decent. I honestly think it's because of the medication that I took, but still, I'm feeling pretty good. So that's awesome too. All right, what other glowy, illuminated items should I use, Jet? What did you use? Let's do this one, like right there. Cause I wanna keep the orange. There we go. Also, Jet, if you wanna drop the video so people know what I'm talking about that you did on that, that would be extremely helpful. Yeah, let me pick this up. I feel like I need to get some more illuminated. Didn't you use the homestead lanterns? I think you did. Like the little round ones. You know what I'm talking about? And I also got these two, the newer lights, but I'm kind of saving those for the actual um, garden. Hi, Tracy, how are you doing today? But I think you used those in yours. You know what, like, let me pull up your video because you used a lot of good items in there. Because that is one of my favorite paleo builds that you've done. Um, okay, let me go look. I'll drop the link too. So if y'all want to see what I'm talking about, that way Jet gets some love for her beautiful Paleo builds. Sorry that I ghosted for a second. I had a cough come in. I know, didn't you do one before the fall update? Cause I don't want the one with the pumpkins. There it is, candlelit pathway. Yep. Let's, we're doing the one without the pumpkins. Here's the video. So I'm gonna go see what you used for this. Okay, so you used, you did use the round lanterns. Yeah, you used the round giant lanterns. Yes, those are the lights uh, that we just got with the new update. And then you also used the big lanterns from the Ravenwood. Uh, set two. Yeah, those are the ones. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna get. Where is it? I'm looking. I 
think it's coming up. It should be. I wonder how the Paltec ones would look. Because th those are new. I feel like those are getting a little too industrial, but it might be uh, worth looking at. But these were the ones, I'm gonna do them in black since I'm going for that kind of like color palette. Grab also, still, I know we got flowers, but I wanna like use those to kind of fill in the gaps a little bit. And then since we still need to fill in in between the trees, cause we don't have a lot of like green options at the moment, I wonder how the homestead bushes, where are they, would look. Bye Brick, please get some rest. Headaches are not fun, so I totally get it. Thank you for your help today. And I hope you feel better soon. I'll see you on Entrouded tomorrow. All right, there we go. Honestly, I'm probably gonna be living on Paleo for the rest of the night. <laughs> we'll play Entrouded tomorrow. So Jet, just relay the that information for me. I'm too broke for the new rugs. Oh man, I don't I don't think I have enough because I need to get more customization kits. Let me see how much money I got. Uh, how much is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough. I'll need to come get some rugs later when I actually have money. That's why I'm excited to do hunting. Yeah, there's new items in the underground. New items in the underground. So make sure you're checking every Paleo night so you don't miss out. Like we got a lot of good stuff with this update. 8K. <laughs> yeah, I'm too broke for that. No worries, Tracy. I know it's late, so I understand. Thank you so much for hanging out for a little bit. Get some good sleep. Oh, I'm so jealous. Y'all get those so I can see how they look later. Yeah, these are the light arches that we got. They are officially released. You can craft them now, okay? It's called the Spring Fever um, set. That's what they called it. But now they're officially in the game. So now I feel like I can use them. <laughs> I've been wanting to use them for so long, but I was like, eh, I probably shouldn't use them if they're not released yet. I might save these somewhere else. Oh, I probably should customize this back to normal colored. Bye. All right, so there we go. Is this one? I don't think that one's colored. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, so they're released now. There's three different sizes too. They really uh, delivered on that. So I think I will put this one. This is gonna just kind of like fill in in between where I can't uh, rotate with the flowers too much. You see, like it'll kind of just add a little bit of extra green in between these. Cute. Yes, enjoy your lurk. Thank you so much again, Sunny, for being here. Totally get that it's late for people. Um, if you're new to my channel, I usually stream pretty late, so uh, once in a while, I do get like a slightly normal-ish schedule, but for the most part, I usually stream late. So thank you again for being here and totally get if you can't stay the whole time. And lurking is super appreciated too. So thank you for all the lurks. Okay, so we added a couple of pinks over there. I love how this entry is starting to go. And then we'll get this lantern over here. Oh, I'm gonna need to customize those back to the um, standard color. We're probably gonna be doing a lot of designing streams on this plot, by the way. Since it's a really time consuming plot, I feel like this one would be better to do streams on. And then I'll do walkthroughs of like the other plots. I think that's my plan. Give me a second, I'm gonna get a drink of my uh, water. Thank you so much. Yeah, lurking is totally fine. Thank you so much for your lurk. Um. Okay, so there we go. We got those reverted back. This one's gonna be reverted back. 
All right, perfect. Three away from the like goal. Thank you so much for all the likes today, y'all. Let's do this lantern, like right there. Or, can I place it? <gasps> Ooh. I kind of like that little extra height, you know? Kind of like a little bit of a dimension change right there too, which is nice because you don't want everything super, super similar. Let me go place this candle like over here for now. There we go, lots of candles. Cute, oh my gosh, y'all, it is coming together. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh man, this is gonna be easily my favorite plot now. I'm so glad that I decided to go back to doing my cottage because I missed it. I tore it down for a different update and then I just never got back to it. So it feels really nice to get back into routine with it. And then I got my restaurant, which I'm gonna probably do a walkthrough of. And then we got my mansion that I was gonna work on, but I think I'm gonna have to save that for a different stream since the pathway over here is taking me a little bit longer. I'm gonna do the same colors that I have with the kitchen, Mary. The one that you and I really liked with like the purple and the pink with the black mixed in. Remember that color palette that I had, like the berry? I think I'm gonna do that. And honestly, like, did you prefer the berry colored one or the uh, neutral one? Cause I feel like the, the berry just screams witchy better but so does earthy colors, but I just, I think I really like the blue purple color, color palette because those are my favorite colors first, but like, it's also my channel colors. So I feel like that also plays into it too. All right, and then, come on, let me place it. There we go. Cute. Okay, we're <laughs> making progress. There we go. And curve it this way, do we think? I think that would be nice. So like, I'll start working on, let me fill this one. Where did the stone go that was right here? Yeah, I'm gonna fill this one in and then like start working on the curve towards the tree. So we're gonna start going this way with it. So kind of like that. Or do I need to go forward a little bit more? Like it doesn't have to be perfect because well, it's a cottage core path. There we go, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start working on the curve. I think that will be the next, the next stage that I should do. So angling this way. and then continually continue to angle it about right here. And then we'll start working on the second curve, which goes up to that tree. And then I could do, I need to also work on a curve that goes right in front of here too. But I think that's, that's a good guide for us, at least now. There is an item limit in Palea, yes, but the flowers and the item limit are two different things. The item limit is a lot of items though. So like, I will have plenty of room, cause this is, I'm not doing this on my whole plot. Um, I'll have plenty of room to still fill in everywhere else, especially with, you know, flowers and stuff. Oh no, definitely take a break from the hunting. You don't want it to stress you out and you can try more tomorrow. Like each day, I'm gonna try to hunt a little bit and just kind of like, let it happen when it's supposed to. Cause then it's gonna burn you out if you stress too much on it. And you don't want that. All right, and then we'll do this one right here. There we go. Cute. Yeah, I like this. This is going, this is going well. Good night, Jet. 
There we go, placing that one. Rotating this one that way. And also thank you mod team for the help today on stream as well. I appreciate y'all tons. My sleep schedule is so bad right now. So um, Mary and Kristen, y'all are stuck with me for a while because I know y'all are going to be up for a while too. <laughs> yes, this is the pond. It's all fixed. So that one got resolved. The winter light candles got fixed too. So we got a lot of bug fixes the last couple of updates. The blue candles from Tamala also work. Oh, it's only five. We are going to be on Palea for hours together then. We we got this. Like when I'm done streaming, I'm still going to probably be on Palea, especially since I'm still getting over the uh, stomach flu. Like I'm just going to be here chilling for a while. It's 8 p.m. for you. Time zones are crazy. I appreciate y'all so much, though, for the help on the stream today. And thank you to everybody for the lurks, for the chatting, for the new members, for the new subs. I appreciate y'all tons. Thank you for being here. All right, there we go. Yeah, my sleep schedule's so bad right now because, like, when the flu was really bad a couple of days ago, um, I just, I was sleeping all day. So, like, my schedule is just really weird now. I like this curve and then we'll work on the other one. <laughs> I don't sleep. Honestly, why is that so relatable? <laughs> yeah, what is sleep? You know, between being a parent and stuff, like asking for a friend. There we go. Time zones are so crazy though, because like it's daytime for some people right now and it just blows my mind. That's why I'm like kind of glad that I'm also a late night streamer because, you know, people who normally miss my daytime streams when I'm on a normal schedule, they get to have some nighttime ones. Okay, so this is curved and then we're gonna do that one right there. I'm at two hours. I'm feeling pretty good, Mary. So I'm gonna continue going for it. I'm feeling pretty good. We'll, we'll do, we'll, let's see how we're doing at three hours and touch base. Feeling pretty good. That medicine is definitely helping. I was worried because I was getting pretty nauseous like 30 minutes ago, but it passed and I took more meds. Thankfully, it's fast acting too. So I feel pretty, pretty good at the moment. Yeah, the medication definitely has helped. Um, it's like fast acting. The other medication I was taking was not working. So this one seems to be doing a pretty good job. All right, so this, cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, up late, but I have to work tomorrow. Oh no. Get some sleep though. Don't like push yourself too much. Make sure you're resting. There we go. Yeah, there's a curve. See, look, I got that curve going and then I can do more bushes and stuff right there. If it could just be the next game day so I can water um, this tree, because this one we're not watering, we're keeping these stunted, that'd be great. <laughs> and then we're gonna do, let's see. There we go. Here we, perfect. Yeah, I like that. And then I'll fill in. Yeah, look at how nice that looks. It's coming together. And then we, we got to do more candles, obviously, but I think it's starting to take really nice shape. Let me turn off this because you can clutter these really close to the tree, which is awesome. Definitely taking some shape over here. And then in this spot, we need to do a tall tree, and I think I'm gonna do this tree right here. Give it some height, but we're gonna need to, actually, let me go ahead and water that before the next day starts. We're gonna need to get this one taller. Like, there, we want this cedar tree to be tall, and we want this one to be tall, so we got to make sure that we water that one. So I'm not gonna cluster behind that one so I don't accidentally 
um, water the smaller ones. I'll probably drag it out first. But so far, I think it's coming together pretty nicely. We have a ways to go, but we're making progress. I'm really glad that I went with the cobblestone pathway. I think this is really nice. It kind of brings out the colors better and it'll make the focus be on my lanterns. And then I'll do the cutting board stepping stones like where my garden is and like the little pavilion area. I, I think the pavilion's gonna be my workshop spot. So I'm trying to kind of reduce my plot areas a smidge. So I wanna, I wanna make this one my main plot. So we're gonna bring the pavilion over there. Yes, do the honeyler. Thank you, Mary. I think it's really coming along. I'm excited to do more designing for it. I figured since I haven't done exterior design on the game in a hot minute, it was smarter to get started on this. But I am looking forward to doing the interior. Lisa, thank you so much. Thank you for being here, by the way. All right, so the goal is kind of like what you saw in my Animal Crossing content. We're gonna loop around this tree. <laughs> so we're making that progress uh, slowly, but we are getting there. So these candles are a little bit taller. Let's see how that looks right there. Oh, these are the ones that aren't lit. That's right. Let me put this over here as a reminder that those don't work. Do these work? These do not work still, poo. Oh, that's a, that's a bummer. Yep, they're bugs still. So I will just do the homestead and the orange ones. Oh, it grew. Perfect. Look, at it's nice and tall. We're going to keep that one at this height. And then we need to water this one more. And then we also need to water that one. Being careful not to accidentally water the other ones. This flower, does that need to be? Ooh, I'm accidentally watering that tree. Oops, let me go ahead and finish that. It shouldn't grow too much bigger, I don't think. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Me too. I love the new tree update. I love that I can go crazy with the different tree sizes. I Does this one still need me to water it? Oh my gosh, how much taller is this gonna get? Let's water this flower. Um, and this one, is that all the flowers that I need to water? Cause I don't want to obviously do my trees. Okay. We're good. Yeah. This new update, they really delivered. I can't wait for, um, more tree options and bush options too. Cause like they better give us that. We we're still missing so many from the town, like those little dandelions and daisies like little white flowers i want those too like just let me have a bunch of wildflowers <laughs> should i do let's do this one like right there and then i'll put the other blue bush kind of like off centered right there that's cute. And then we'll do this one in the water. Yeah, and then we'll do this one. I'm gonna do the blue ones in the water, I think. Actually, these taller ones in the water, I feel like would look pretty. Let's do those instead. We're gonna put that little purple flower right there. Grab this one and I'll put this like right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the lavender in the water. I'm just gonna do two. I don't want it to be too much in there. Yes, the flowers and trees is awesome. And there, there's more like coming too. Like the, the dev notes were so exciting. I'm really stoked about this. All right, so we're making a lot of progress tonight, which I'm quite excited for. Give me one second, friends. I feel a cough coming. Okay, so let's do this pathway here. Yeah, I keep hoping though, cause like I want Tamala's decor and I really want 
her home style and exterior. And I still really want vines to decorate with. So if we could get the home soon in her fireplace, that'd be great. I know, I was hopeful because I would like definitely marry one of the NPCs finally. You know, I kind of want one of those dresses because they look like a princess gown so bad. <laughs> but I can't, I can't justify buying it because I don't really have a use for it right now. But if we ever get to marry an NPC like we do on Stardew Valley, you betcha I'm buying a gown. There we go. I like that this is has a nice little natural curve to it. We're gonna need to go get more um, small little trees, I think. Do I have any in my storage? I don't think I do. Oh, perfect, okay, so we got those, but I don't have the other ones that I was needing, so that's a bummer. But we're, let's go ahead and get these planted so they're ready for us. These will be smaller um, filler trees. I do need to go get some other seeds though from town. All right, watering those. And then these will be uh, stage two. Yeah, these will be stage two. So I still have the flu, but the worst symptoms have passed. My fever, I'm really shocked with this bug because my fever is like lingering and it's on and off and the nausea and the dizziness is still here. I'm still having trouble eating, but I am keeping food down finally, so that's a good sign. But I'm getting there slowly. Like I'm obviously not gonna be streaming two to three times a week yet. If I feel fine, you know, during the weekend, then yeah, I'll get back to my normal streaming schedule. But like, if I'm still feeling icky and I can't make it this weekend, I'm definitely gonna give my body a break so it has time to just kind of, you know, heal. But it is the best that I have felt. So we're making progress there. There we go. Okay, so this will be, um, let me look. This will be stage one, stage two, stage three. So stage three, meaning the, uh, where is it? Is it this tree? No. Was it this tree? Oh my gosh, it was this tree and I watered it. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna have to rotate this. I had a stage uh, three tree right there. Okay, oopsie. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. It should have been the cedar tree that I was watering. I was watering this one. Okay, we'll do the cedar or this oak tree right here. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Oops. I was supposed to be watering <laughs> this tree. Oh no. Oh, I think I already watered it. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's put this one back. Cause I don't want two of the same tree. I was like, wait a second. Where's my other tree? It was this one that I watered. My bad. All right, let's put this tree right here and this will be a taller cedar tree and I'll need to work on filling that one in a little bit more that's okay though because I needed a taller tree for that spot anyways but I was wondering I was like wait a second little did I know so make sure when you're stunting your trees to pay attention or like drag them out and water them or just like do all this in advance so you don't have to go back and do them like me but you see I'm not very good at planning things I never usually plan anything. There we go. Um, all right, and then we're gonna rotate almost like a donut kind of shape around this tree. There we go. Yeah, okay, it's taking good shape over here. While we're in this spot, we're gonna place another candle because this is gonna be a candle lit pathway. So do I have, I need to get more homestead. That's what I need to do. I know, okay, so the um, trees and stuff have their own separate limit. So it does not count towards your item limit. There was a lot of confusion about that. So I hope that clears it up. They have their own separate limit. So it's not gonna interfere with your items. So I'm very relieved about that, but I wasn't sure if you were aware of that. 
um, because a lot of us were asking that question. So I did get the confirmed answer that it's a separate limit. All right, we're gonna go and put these in our inventory because we need more of them. These are my favorite candles. They're so, they're so pretty. There we go, two more. But I do really want, um, I really want like grass and actual bushes, but that would be nice. Oh yeah, Dreamlight Valley is dangerous. I get it, trust me. I feel like there's just so many games right now. Like I've been playing Enshrouded, I've been playing Palea and Disney Dreamlight Valley. And that's just all I've been doing. <laughs> I've just been living on these. Um, okay, and then we'll do, let's see, that one right there. This is gonna be so pretty lit up at night, just going through all of this. All right, and then the bigger candles will kind of just spread them out. Yes, the new crafting recipes. There we go. Yeah. Me too. I, I really hate that Switch doesn't have it, but I also, as much as I hate saying this, <laughs> I get it because the Switch is not a powerful console. So, you know, we don't know how their coding is. It probably could really kill your Switch's um, frame rate because it's not a very powerful console. However, I used to go crazy on Animal Crossing on my Switch. I still do. So I'm wondering why they don't allow it. Um, if, if Animal Crossing seems to handle it. I say it seems to handle it. It's still lagged like really bad. But they very well could be against it for that reason. Because of how Animal Crossing performed. But I do wish there was like more freedom with it, you know? Um, for the bunny one, I am planning to do probably some more progression in the next few weeks. I'm just trying to focus on Palea and Disney Dream My Valley. And also I'm bringing Enshrouded to my channel. Um, I'm planning to do builds for it and like design ideas. So I just have a lot of content right now that I'm trying to juggle. And then I'm wanting to bring also Stardew Valley over here. So I'm kind of like in content overload, if I can be honest. But I am planning to do a stream eventually. It's just Animal Crossing is really not my main focus anymore. Like I'm always going to do content for it. But it's not going to be one of those games where I'm like stressing out to post it every day, you know. But I am wanting to do uh, some more progression on the Bunny Island. I also really want to try to load up my um, Stray Island at some point. And then I got the Japanese Island too. It's like a natural Zen Garden sort of vibe. So if I do play Animal Crossing... It's gonna be one of those islands, and it just kind of depends on my mood. Like if I'm feeling like I wanna play, you know? I've done like 34 Animal Crossing islands, so it's like, I feel like I've gotten to the point with Animal Crossing where it's like, what else is there I can do, you know? Especially with no support. And it makes me sad to have to say that because that's what started my channel, you know? Like I'll always have a spot for it. But it does make me sad that it's gotten to the point where I'm like, what now? And Shrouded, I did a review video on it. Um, it's a multiplayer game, but you can play it alone. Uh, it's like Skyrim, basically with building. And if you play with friends, if you're not into like PVE, you don't have to do that. Like the great thing about Enshrouded is you can have a friend go do questing, right? Like if you're like, oh, I'm not into killing monsters. Like not everybody is. You could literally just stay back at the plot and decorate and you get all the achievements that your group does while questing. So like you can literally play Enshrouded without, you know, fighting any bad guys. It's not for everybody, you know, but it is one of my favorite games lately. And there's constant updates for it the designing is very sims disney dream my valley paleo like and it's just so cozy for me i just love it i restart each uh island that i create so i never flatten because I, I like to preserve all my dream addresses yeah it's like i will always play animal crossing but it's not gonna be like one of those games where i'm gonna like stream it every day anymore because like there's new games coming out 
And as much as I hate to say it, and I thought I would never have to say it, Animal Crossing is dying. Like, n there's like a small community for it. And yeah, there are, there are people who will always play. It was the same with New Leaf. It's the same with every game, you know, that doesn't get support anymore. There's always going to be a small, you know, little community that's still playing it. And I will definitely be part of that community. I'm just not going to be playing it every day. But it's gotten to the point where I'm like, I need to make decisions for my channel because I'm still growing. So, um, you know, that's why I'm thankful for games like Disney Dream My Valley and Palea because they give me the Animal Crossing feel. But it's like new. And that's why I'm also excited about that one game that we just did a stream on. It's called Chill Town. It's literally like exactly like Animal Crossing, but add in like some new features and, and like pets and stuff. Um, that game, if you want to have that Animal Crossing spark and feel again, it's only $14. Like, I think it's like $14.99, but it'll give you the nostalgia and vibe that Animal Crossing has. You can decorate in it, interior and exterior decorating. Uh, I'm still planning to play that game. It's, it's really good. And there's also Fae Farm too. That's another game that I want to get back into. It's a lot like Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing too. Yeah, Chill Town is really cute. It honestly surprised me. I'm still playing it. I love it. It's such a cute game. It's just, it's so hard to find balance, you know, with all these different games. But Disney Dream My Valley definitely has took over my life for sure. I think Disney Dream My Valley is kind of like my new Animal Crossing right now. Yeah, I um, always start a new island when I do a new theme for Animal Crossing. Chilltown is gonna be coming out, I think, for Switch. I'm not sure. I don't have an accurate answer for that, but I think they will eventually do it if they get the support on Kickstarter. It's just out for PC right now, sadly. Yeah, it's literally like Animal Crossing. Like I did a stream on it three or four days ago. I think it was like four days ago. So if you go back on my video tab, you can kind of see how it looks, but it's so stinking adorable. It's well worth it if you have your PC. And hopefully we, they get the Switch support because I would love it for my Switch. We definitely need a new Animal Crossing, but realistically, we, we are definitely not gonna get a new Animal Crossing until next console. I, I hope that they give us like a new Leaf remaster. I feel like that would be such a good, you know, idea for them to do. But like, we just, we just, we need something. Um, okay, let's see. Do I have any tips for staying motivated in Disney Dream My Valley? I like to do dailies every day and load up and restart um, my Scrooge shop to item hunt, but hmm, staying motivated with questing. See, I work really slow on quests. I just kind of take my time, so I don't really know how to answer this fully, but I do have a routine. By the way, thank you so much for all the likes. Thank you, Mary, for the new like goal. My routine is definitely resetting my screwed shop, doing dailies, cleaning up my valley, and then I do like two to three quests each day. That's what I make it my goal. But right now, <laughs> I need to finish my star path. So we're gonna be doing a stream at some point, finishing my star path. But um, that's what helps me avoid burnout. Yeah, I never played Chill Corner, but like Chill Town is really cute. All right, where is my little pebble area? Cause I think I need to, um, or pebble edging. I need to craft some more, I'm pretty sure. Let me go down here. I think it's under spring. Spring wood, there it is. Oh, I need to go get more resources, yikes. All right, yeah, we're gonna need to definitely get more of these. But it's coming together. And we'll kind of like space this, these ones out a little bit. So we're not using too much, you know. Cause spacing them out will look a little bit nicer too. Not as cluttered. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, like some, if you're trying to get the plushies for the deer, 
It's it's sometimes going to take a second. Hold on, friends. I feel a sneeze coming. So the plushies are like lucky coins, basically. Some people will be more lucky. My friend got her plushie and 10 deer, 10 stinking deer. I'm at 200. So it's random. Um, hopefully y'all don't have to wait as long as I will probably have to to get it. But I am determined. Okay, yes, Dream Snaps 2. I love Dream Snaps. I know that there's a lot of like people who are just kind of like eh about it. But I look forward to Dream Snaps. And then the Premium Shop 2 uh, gets me excited because then we can do new builds with the items. So that that is definitely i'm in green with that that is something i look forward to all the time oh i had 200 in here already we'll have to go get more um stone regardless because we're getting kind of low yeah i haven't finished all my quests yet any game with questing in it like look at me for example on palea i've done a good portion of quests like these are all my finished quests right i still have one two three four five, six, seven, and these have additional quests with them because they're like discovery. And I'm sure there's other quests too that I haven't found like, you know, in the bottles and stuff in the choppa piles and whatever. But like, I haven't finished a lot of these quests yet still. I've done a good portion of them, but like, I just, I work really slow when it comes to questing. I like to take my time. Yeah, like this, this dream snap thing was so like weird. Like what an odd theme, <laughs> like what? Winter and summer, okay. I, I did my best. I did like a snow fairy and um, I had like the glowy palm trees and the fairy blossom home in Frozen Heights and that was like, that was mine. But yeah, I was like, oh, this is difficult. And then I did the white bell dress. I think it turned out cute, but that's what I did. I hope next prompt is a little bit easier. I played DVD, DVDV with Mac and they have again the issue that the game will connect to the internet. So once again, I have to sit out of the dream snaps. No, <gasps> that's awful. Yeah, like my last two dream snap tags, I've gotten like okay-ish scores on. Like I don't really do dream snaps for like ranks. I do it for the uh, the moonstones. So my last couple of moonstones, I got 2,500, I think. And then 1,200 were my last two. So I don't know how I'll rank this one, but as long as I get some moonstones, cause I mean like it's free moonstones. Like my last few um, speed builds that we did, I had to sadly buy those items with moonstones because I just didn't have enough. But uh, yeah, I really hope that I rank a little bit better this next one. Because it'd be nice to save a little bit of money. That's the struggle with content creation. So y'all know that I'm at least putting my real life money into these videos for y'all to get those uh, builds out. That's how dedicated I am. When I don't have enough moonstones, I'm just like, oh, looks like I'm buying for this video. But y'all make it worth it. Very thankful for y'all. All right, and then we'll do another candle right there. Cute. I like this, it's coming along. Let's do this one. Oops. Like right there. Can't wait to see how illuminated this is going to be now at night because we've added so much more to it. And what's our other trees at at the moment? I don't think they've grown. Yeah. Do we need to water them? Nope. Do I have any trees over here that I could use. I need to water these ones again. These need to get taller. Yeah, I mean, 600 and 900 is still not bad, though. Like, I know it's not the 4K, but there's some people who don't even get 600 or 900. So, like, when I do get that kind of a ranking, I'm still, like, incredibly thankful for it because, I mean, it's better than just not getting any. I mean, you do get, like, your base 300 regardless, but, like, 
that's what I, that's what helped helped me at least not be bummed out because I'm like, oh, well, there could be people who only got their 300. So I try to think that way and it's helped me not feel as bad about my score. So that's what I try to do. Obviously, it still sucks that when you get a ranking and you put a lot of work into a dream snap and then it doesn't do like as what you would hope. But having that kind of a mindset has helped me kind of be a little less hard on myself. All right, let's get this one. Yeah, I think those were from a star path. And if I remember correctly, they took our feedback and they're going to be bringing them back, I think, into the premium shop. So hopefully you'll get that soon. They're great. Okay, so we got a good curve going with this. We still got to obviously circle around our tree more, but we are making progress. Uh-oh, hold on one second. My, my puppy is having an issue. Are you okay? Oh, she had a bad dream. Poor puppy. She's like cuddling on my lap while I stream. And I was like, what is going on? Why is she heavy breathing? All right, let's do that candle. Actually, we're going to like space this one out too right here. Ooh, I like this. Okay. So what other flowers do I have? I need to get it. Oh, 1,200 is good, though. Like, every time I get above 1,000 moonstones, I'm always incredibly thankful because that gets me at least something in the premium shop. Yeah, Lisa, have I seen your um, post on Twitter before? Your name looks really familiar. I'm pretty sure I've shared somebody's dream snap named Lisa. They did like this little mermaid kiss the girl scene. Was that you? Because you always do awesome on your dream snaps. And if that's not you, whoever that Lisa was, your dream snaps are always fabulous. Yeah, I'm excited to see what next star path looks like too. Should I grab a couple of these? I think I'm gonna do that. And then grab more of my lavender. And then grab, let's see, more of these. Okay, so it is who I'm thinking it is. Yep, the those dream snaps are awesome all the time. Say some, say some talent. All right, I need to grow more choppa tail flowers. So I think I'm gonna grab this one. Yep, that was yours. Yeah, your dream snaps are always insane. You're very, very talented. Oh, cool, I got that one. Uh, get seeds. Let's collect all the seeds over here. I think there's no seeds over in this spot, okay. I think this is a seed. Yeah, we need more of these. Thank you so much, Yizzy, for the lurk. There we go. Refilling that. Yeah, some people just do amazing with dream snaps. Like they're so they're so talented. I always look forward to dream snaps because I get to see how creative people get. It's just insane. Like these people, they're so talented. Let's do this bush right here to kind of like introduce them slowly, you know? It kind of breaks up some of the color um, with just the blues. And then I'll do this one like spaced out a little. Oh, I'm definitely going to be playing the next Animal Crossing. You know it. Animal Crossing, I have been playing since the very first one. Animal Crossing was my childhood. So yes, every Animal Crossing game, I will be playing. Doesn't matter when it comes out, it's going to be it's going to be on the channel. So yes. I like the outfit challenges. Those are fun too. Yeah. The outfit challenges can be kind of difficult sometimes, but I always try to do a nice decorated background for the outfits. I don't go as detailed when it's a build one. 
because I just want a, a background that kind of like matches the theme of the outfit, you know? So I kind of go a little bit more minimal with those. I know the theme park one was so good. Lots of great uh, entries. I'm so excited uh, to see how mine turned out, like rank wise. I say rank, but I mean Moonstone wise. I just did my tropical theme park that we did a speed build on. And then I did Minnie and Mickey in front with me. So mine was definitely not on the level of some other people's dream snaps, but I'm still proud of it. So I did that for mine. Like that video was literally my dream snap. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa. I mean, we, we're working rather slow, but it, it is coming together. And then this, this is gonna curve all around like a donut shape and then connect up to here. And then I'm thinking I'll do like a little stepping stone pathway thing that I'll go over to a garden like right here. I also kind of want to do like a little overgrown sitting spot underneath all these trees with candles, like over in this spot right here. Ignore how plain my house is. This is not customized yet. Um, okay, let's do this right here. I'm trying to space these rocks out a little bit more because it is a bigger area and I don't want it to use too much. I also need more of these little small trees. You know what? Before the day uh, ends up changing, let's go cut down some of those real fast and try to get some seeds because I do need those. Thank you so much, Scorpion. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Nora making curd pass. I'm so proud. Yeah, this is my main plot. So, um, sorry, I was putting my puppy down. If you, let me see. Hold on. Let me show y'all something. Let me get uh, Instagram pulled up real quick. So it's this plot here, but I tore it down. You can't see yet because I'm going to get my post pulled up for you. Um, but it was this build and I tore the plot down for a different update because I was wanting to do a new approach. But I never um, got to do, you know, get to that. Let me go display, capture. There we go. Uh, oop, wrong one. Hold on. I'm trying to get it. No, is it screen? No, I don't think it is that one. Hold on. Because I'm trying to show y'all. I see you, Kristen, being a hooligan. Image, maybe? No, it, it's a uh, video. No, window capture. Let's try that. There it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Took me a second. So it was this plot right here. Um, this was my spell nook. And we did this a long time ago. So it's this plot here that I'm redoing, but like obviously improving some stuff, but it's this witchy plot. So that's what we're working on. And this is my main plot, but I tore it down um, to do a new layout and stuff. So I still got a ways to go, but that's like the overall vibe that it's going to have inside. So I'm going with like purples, pinks, all kinds of stuff, but I'm really excited about it. But this is my main plot. And then I'm doing a Japanese home for my other one. Thank you. Yeah, that's kind of like the vibe that I'm going for. Um, I really wanted to do a, a basic, simple, neutral cottage core plot too. And I am planning to do that, but I want my main plot at least back together because I tore it down. Let me grab some of these because we're going to need stone for my pathway. But I wanted a plot with my channel colors. I know that sounds silly, but I just really wanted that. <laughs> Yes, pink and purple. I need I need something to match with my channel colors. We got it. We got it like match. So I'll have the channel color plot, which will be that witchy one, and then I'll have like a more cottage core simple one. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really excited to get it back together because yeah, I I had to tear it down. I thought um, tearing it down was a good idea. I made a big mistake. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna have those three plots and then I got my restaurant, which I'm still working on. 
All right, there's some trees over here. Hold on, y'all. My, my puppy's eating something. One second. Okay, we're good. Sorry. I thought she was getting into something she wasn't supposed to have. All right, please give me some seeds. But basically think of those Instagram photos, a more improved version. Like I'm gonna mix in, cause we got some black wallpapers now, which I'm so excited. So we're gonna be mixing in black wallpapers. It's gonna be very cozy and glowy. I did do like a neutral version of it, but it just, it didn't hit the same. Like the, the orange candles that we got from the Halloween update just looks so good with the purple. No seeds. I don't even think I have enough to request seeds right now. No seeds right there. I do need more of the sapwood though. So I don't wanna like complain too much. I don't even think I brought bug bombs with me. No, I didn't. Yeah, we need to get, we need to get some seeds so I can plant these. Yes, the new Japanese wallpapers are gorgeous. So I want to have that plot too. And that one's gonna be my mansion. So I'm really excited about that. I'm just scared to start it immediately because like what if next patch we get the second story that they advertise coming. And then I do all that work and have to redo it again. But at the same time, I, I hope it's not too hard to add a second floor when they do it. All right, let's get, let's see over here. No seeds yet. No seeds. Oh my gosh, please game. I just, I need some seeds right now. Cause we need to stunt these little trees. I like the different textures. No worries, Els. Thank you so much for your help today. Get some good sleep. I appreciate you tons. Yeah, the wallpapers are beautiful. They are so beautiful. Now there's a couple of wallpapers where I'm like, oh, these are these are kind of ugly. <laughs> but a lot of them are really nice. I was quite uh, shocked. The Blossom one is very kid room like, you know? Oh, we got a seed, thank you. Now give me more. Oh my gosh, thank you, game. <laughs> the Palea, the Palea gods have blessed me with two seeds, thank you. Now, can this one give me a seed? Nope, game said nah. Nah, girl, you don't get this. I also want all of Bodru's uh, stuff too. Like I want this fence, I want his house style, I want the silo and the barn, I want barn animals, but that would be awesome too. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna focus on my cottage plot, my work plot, and the restaurant for now, because those are all one level. And then I will focus on doing my mansion probably when that update comes. And if I have to wait a hot minute to do it, that's fine, because I can just be patient and wait for it, you know? But I want my cottage to be put together at least. Mining and fishing are my money makers and gardening. So that's what I do. I also now apparently hunting is because I made, now I made like what, 14K off of hunting last night, but then I spent it all on customization kits. So hunting because I'm trying to get those plushies. But those are, those are my money makers. Yes, preserves definitely help too. I'm just too lazy to do them. <laughs> yeah, but farming honestly is such an easy money maker. I do tomatoes and potatoes and apples. Those make me a lot of money. Oh my gosh, give me another seed. You unlock more plots by buying them with your paleo money. So I've been playing, cause I'm a paleo partner. Um, I've been playing since closed beta. So I have, I have a lot of my stuff unlocked and I did that a long time ago. Why is somebody shooting arrows at me? Mary, is that you? <laughs> Mary, 
I was like, who's shooting arrows at me? <laughs> if you do want some extra um, paleo tips though, I did do a beginner's video. Uh, I'll get you the link real quick, hold on. I did, I got the mini frog already. It, it's super cute. Yeah, I got that one, don't worry. I see a Nora in the wild. I was like, who is shooting at me? <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. It was you. Like, why did I even question it? Here is my beginner's tips and tricks video. I, the, in this video, I basically talk about everything that I do and what has been successful for me. So if you want to watch that, uh, that was a video that I was really proud of. It took me a week uh, to make. <laughs> it was a week long video. It was very difficult for me. and I'm quite proud of it. So if you do need extra tips, that video is for you. I also want to do like my paleo routine, you know, like just like what I do every day on paleo at some point, but I'm juggling so many different games right now and content for them. So I'll get to that at some point. I still cannot believe you snuck up on me. <laughs> Yes, if you haven't climbed the giant frog, there is a plushie up there. So make sure you go get it. But yeah, I already got that. Ooh, chop a pile. How much do y'all want to bet that it's going to give me fur or softwood? Oh, it gave me copper this time. I'm shocked, but it wasn't an item. I also need to get this too while I'm over here. Oh, wait. There's a... Oh, no, I don't have my arrows. I was going to say there's a deer right there. What if that was my plushie? I will never get to know. All right, let's get those. You know, I don't really like how, and I understand why they did it, but I hate that when you break it, it's still there. I still cannot believe you did that to me. Like, how rude. <laughs> All right, let me try and get some seeds out of this one. Nope. Yeah, the pile has not been very kind to me lately. Ooh, a seed. Thank goodness. I still need more, though. But we're making progress. We can get these planted, though. At least it gives me a little bit of a start. I just want... I want to be able to plant at least, like, five to six trees, you know? So we're going to try to do those. Yeah, the preserves are a great... A great option, for sure. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this too. I know, I'm so excited about that. Like VPN was so annoying for you. I wasn't even the one having to go through it, but I knew it was like such an inconvenience. There we go. I've actually gotten seeds from the uh, smaller ones before. Like not the baby ones, but the smaller little ones, I've gotten the seeds from them before too. It's rare, but they have dropped. Um, okay, so let's grab these. Oh, wait, I can't. My inventory's full. All right, let's go sell some stuff and at least get these planted. At least we'll have a good start. Unless they patched it out, but like, yeah, since closed beta, I was able to get from the um, medium-sized trees and get seeds from them all the time. I wonder if it got patched. Because I usually would cut those and the other trees and obviously skip like the tiny little shrub ones. Oh my gosh, yes, the fruit basket. I was so excited about that too. All right, I'm gonna get rid of some of this. Actually, no, wait, I need to keep these for my stepping stones. All right, um, keeping this, keeping that, sell, and keeping all of these because we're gonna need them for decor. Sorry if you hear my cat in the background. Okay, perfect. There we go. So now I'm just gonna get these planted real fast so we can continue working on my pathing. We're probably just gonna have to like gather stuff as needed while we continue working on this. All right, so I'll plant these right here. Yeah, Scorpion, get some rest. Totally understand. Like I said, my sleep schedule is really wonky, so I know not everyone can stay up. Get some sleep. Thank you so much for hanging out too. Yeah, I never got the blanket ladder. I'm so jealous. 
There we go. And filling this in. Perfect. All right, so we got those planted. Do we need to water any of these now? Yes, I'll definitely, I'll definitely get some rest. Once I get done streaming, I'm gonna make myself some tea. I'm gonna eat some food and just kind of like chill. I say food, but it's literally more soup. I didn't think I could be sick of soup because I love soup, but I'm so over it. <laughs> but I'm gonna make myself some soup and toast. Make myself a little bit of tea. Gotta keep myself hydrated. And then I'll just be chilling. I'll I'm gonna try my best to do a Disney Dream at Valley stream this weekend. But it just kind of comes down to how I'm feeling. But I think I'm on I'm on day three now of the flu. The worst has passed. And it's such a weird flu too, because my daughter has it. And her doctor said it can linger up to seven to eight days. Um, it's not it's not a nice flu. So like, I'm hoping that doesn't become my case because I'm already feeling pretty, pretty normal besides like the nausea and like, you know, the dizziness and aches here and there. And my fever is still here too. Like it comes back, which is normal apparently for this virus. So if my fever could just go away, that'd be great. But other than that, like, I feel like the worst of it has passed and I think I should be fine by the weekend. Tomorrow, I'm going to work on a video. My goal is to get said video posted also tomorrow. And then I'm going to take a couple of days to kind of just, you know, get my vitamins in, get some orange juice, you know, and stuff. Get myself back to getting into a routine. And then hopefully I just won't get sick anytime soon. I have a lot of health related issues, which obviously I don't talk about, but it causes me to get sick very, very easily. Like someone basically could look at me and now that's obviously an exaggeration, but then I get sick. So these health issues that I go through, um, I just get sick all the time. So like my daughter being in school, she brings home everything and then I get sick. But me and my doctor are trying to find options to kind of, you know, give me some relief from being sick all the time. But it's just some weeks are harder than others. Like I'll be fine one week and then the next week I catch something. Lavender Midnights. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for being a level three member. Thank you very much. You don't know how much that means to me. Can we get some hearts in the chat for all the new members today? Thank you so much, Lavender. I hope you're doing good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, there's a blanket ladder and I think, didn't it get removed from the pile? I think it did. And I want it so bad, but I don't have it. <laughs> uh, there's like so many items from the chopper pile that I don't have and it makes me sad. But like that being removed makes me even more sad. Like why? Why would you take that from me? <laughs> okay, so we got this nice curve going. And we'll do, let's see. Mickey, 11 months of being a member. Almost to a year. We are so close to a year. Thank you so much, Mickey, for being a member. And you know what's funny is I opened up my memberships um, a year ago. So you and Adriana were one of my first two members and that honestly, you don't understand how much that means to me that you stuck around for 11 months. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your continued support. And that's to every member who has been here for a while and to all the new members. I, I hope you stick around and I appreciate everyone's support so much. Like memberships help my channel grow. It helps me improve my content it helps us get more channel emotes, which is a huge deal in the content creator world. So I really, truly mean everything that I said. Thank y'all so much for the continued support. Y'all are the best community ever. 12 months, perfect. Yeah, there was like four, four of you that have been here for 11 months or 12 months. So you're like, y'all been here for a while. And that's awesome. Always will mean a ton to me. All right, let's go put this, um, the smaller tree. I'm gonna put this one like right here 
And then we'll do the taller tree like behind it. Let's go see how this is. Oh my gosh, Palea's frames are dropping for me, so I apologize for that. Yeah, let's get this tree and see how this one looks. Because I need to mix in more of the bluish colors anyways. Like, we'll do this one. Let's try it, like, right there. Oops. Hmm. I actually think I want to save this for a taller, bigger tree and then cluster in smaller ones behind it. So that being said, we'll do this one, maybe right there. Let's see how it looks from the bridge. Seven months, it does, it feels much longer, but thank you so much for being a member for seven months, Mary. So insane. Thank you, thank you. Seven months though, that's a while. That is a long time. I remember when you first came to my channel. It's been, it's been a, a long time for sure though. I'm, I'm incredibly thankful for your friendship as well. And thank you for being a mod and for all your help. Let me do these like in between the flowers, extra little grass details. Can I fit another right there? I can, there we go. Oops. Y'all ever do that or is it just me where you accidentally click that button and it pulls up your player menu every five seconds? It always happens to me because I play keyboard and mouse. But I always tend to click it. There we go. We'll sneak a little tiny one right there too. I'm also going to do one right there. Make this overgrown. Kind of gives us like, you know, a little grass effect without you seeing the base, you know? You lurked for a while because you were too shy. And then you realized how awesome I am <laughs> and you unlurked. <laughs> no, I'm so thankful for you though. Like if it wasn't for you getting out of your little bubble, you wouldn't have became my mod. So I mean, like I'm excited that you decided to chat one day because then we got a good friendship out of it. I'm a long time lurker, but I'm so happy to be here. Lavender, thank you so much for being a lurker. Lurks are so appreciated. Like people don't get it. Like you don't, you don't have to chat to know that you're appreciated in this stream. Like I, I love my lurkers. I love my chatters, but I do have to admit when y'all are chatting, it is wonderful to get to know you better and to hang out with y'all. But I understand like, you know, what I love about streams is the fact that if I'm like cleaning my house or I'm up late, you know, and everyone's asleep, it's like having a friend. It's like hanging out with somebody and you're just kind of doing your own thing. I think that's why I love streams so much because like I lurk on so many streams and I'll be cleaning the house and it's like everyone's asleep and I'm just like, man, I hate that I'm alone. So that's why I get, I get so incredibly thankful for people like Beacon of Nick who stream late because <laughs> I'm always like lurking on his streams when I'm when I'm editing a video or doing my own thing. It's just like constantly having somebody to hang out with. So I feel like as much as I like doing videos, my streams definitely are my happy place because then I get to just chill with y'all. Mary, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Give me a second, friends. Let me take a drink of my um, water. I'm trying to keep myself hydrated so my doctor doesn't get mad at me. <laughs> I do hope though, like once I get over this nasty flu and stuff, I could finally get in routine with um, rotating between my webcam and my PNG because I know I haven't had my webcam on for a hot minute. And I know like people don't care about that. I feel like it's easier to focus when I don't have my webcam on, if I can be honest. But um, I'm my personal goal for myself this next few weeks is to stream with my webcam at least one to two times a month because like realistically i just don't have the mental capacity to get ready every day you know to stream with like my makeup and everything i kind of just like to chill <laughs> so um that is my personal stream goal for myself and getting back up to two times a week 
Like I said, I have a, a bunch of health related issues. So it's been really hard for me to feel not only energized to get ready, but just to stream two, uh, two times a week. So y'all manifest for me that I can hit those goals again. And then like, you know, Pickle passing away too added, of course, a lot to that. My dog, if you're new to my channel, um, he just passed away. So it's like been, you know, things back to back for me lately. Like a lot of people don't realize my life has been so chaotic the last few weeks. Like I've been going through pretty much a living hell. <laughs> if I can be honest with y'all, it's been, it's been rough, but that's why I'm thankful when I can stream because y'all get my mind off of all the bad stuff. We're just like hanging out, playing cozy games together. And that's why I'm very thankful for my community because y'all just keep me going more than you realize. So hopefully, hopefully y'all know how much you are appreciated. That's why I'm thankful for all of you. But the, I think those are realistic goals for myself. I think I can make those goals. You know, like it's definitely doable. And I will never, ever, ever over push myself. Like if I'm just not feeling like streaming one week, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. But do I prefer streaming and hanging out with y'all? Absolutely. It's just hard when you have, you know, mental health issues because like my brain will say, nah, you, you shouldn't stream because you feel like poo. And then I'm like, I feel like poo, so I'm not gonna stream. But in my heart, I would love to stream every day if I could, but my, my mental health just doesn't let me do that. So when I do finally, you know, get that final push, like today I had to push myself through it. Like I am sick, you know, so I could have easily just rested, but I wanted to hang out with y'all cause I'm so tired of feeling like garbage by myself. Like being sick, especially the stomach flu. Yeah, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> like if you do not like me as a creator, just know that I would never wish the stomach flu upon you <laughs> because this has been miserable. And I was so tired of being in pain alone. So I was like, I'm gonna push through it, hang out with the best community ever. And I'm so glad I did because I haven't had to think about how icky I feel for three hours now, which has been awesome. I love y'all tons. So feelings mutual. Feeling is definitely mutual. Y'all, I'm already almost out of this. But look, look how much progress I've made. But like, I'm already running low on my stone. Do I, I think I actually got some when we were looking for seeds, I'll have to look. I'm gonna try to go for one more hour today. That way I can focus on my video for Disney Dream My Valley tomorrow and know that I got a, a nice normal stream in because the medicine is still working. So I feel like I should take advantage of the fact that my medication's working for me with this nausea medicine. <laughs> it's like the first time I haven't felt nauseous every 30 minutes. So I feel like I wanna enjoy this for a little more. Okay, and then let's see. Yes, Jojo, that's exactly. I love the late night streams for the lurking and just chilling. Yes, Adriana, no worries. Get some sleep. Have a great day at work. Lavender, thank you tons. Yep, three hours. I just looked over. I'm doing pretty good. And yes, I will be on Paleo still until I pass out. There we go. And we'll do this one. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm to the point where it's like if I can't make two times a week to stream, it's not the end of the world to me because I'm also I'm also creating videos for y'all. But like, it is awesome to be able to hang out with everybody too. But like, my goal for me this week is to do a stream this weekend if I'm feeling good because I wanna get my star path done. Like, my Disney Dream My Valley star path is quite pitiful at the moment. <laughs> we need to uh, catch up. Let's do a lantern right there too. Cute. Oh, it's coming together. It is definitely coming together. <laughs> my four genies. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel so judged right now. <laughs> I literally 
went grinding to get my foraging skill up to get items and to get seeds <laughs> and laughing so hard. I was like, oh shoot, exposed, exposed. I still don't have enough. All right, we gotta go get more. Um, we gotta go get some more rocks and do some more mining. Let me put all of this stuff in here and I'll go place another uh, candle too. Might as well do that. Man, Kristen calling me out. <laughs> You're still hunting? I hope that before I go to bed later, Mary, I can go to sleep having one of the Cernu plushies. That is my goal. All right, let's do that one right there to hide the base a little bit. You won't see this, by the way, that little, it's like the little, um, what is this called? Log cabin planter. I'm using that as like little tall grass accents in between the trees so you will not see that once it's filled in but it's such a it makes it feel overgrown almost like it's such a nice little detail thank you so much a for lurking sorry my cat and dog are playing in the background so you're gonna hear them they're hooligans all right there we go perfect okay so let's go plant well, I'm gonna keep these flowers in my inventory because I know I'm gonna need them. I think that's my, my plan. Okay, so my favorite wallpaper, there's three of them and I'll pull them up real fast before I go. The butterfly wallpaper for sure. And I love it, but I hate it because I never, I haven't found a room yet that I want to use it in, but this wallpaper right here and I'll place them so y'all can see it if you don't have it. Um, What else is there? Uh. I don't know if it's the, oh, I do like this one. And let me look down and see. I'm looking. I think, oh, this one for sure. And I like this one, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Let me keep looking. Y'all give me one second. Hold on, my dog and cat are going crazy. Ah, that's why they're going crazy. So my cat took the dog's bed. Oh, obviously this one easily. And there's one more. Like, I don't even feel bad for the cat now. Like she took the dog bed. She did it to herself. And yeah, I would say these, these are my top four. Yeah, so I I had the butterfly one in my potion wall uh, room originally. I just didn't like it with the color palette of the house I'm doing, but I think I could make it work maybe in my plant room or something. But this wallpaper is my favorite. This one too, because I feel like it's it's just so cottage core. It's gorgeous. I won't be able to use it in this house, but I am gonna use it in another house. I also, I don't know, I just really love it. Obviously, this one is one of my favorites. And then the Sakura one. And then the screen, obviously, too. Like, those are my favorites. They're good wallpapers. All right, let me go. Let's see. Put these back in my storage. And let's, let's go get some more stone. I need more stone and I need more um, seeds. Oh, is it the next day? I think it is. Let's go, before we do that, let's water um, some trees that need to be watered. Oh my gosh, I accidentally watered this tree. Oops, okay, that's fine though. Cause we'll, we'll move this one. Where are we at? Let's do this tree towards the back a little bit. Give it some height, like right there. Yeah, okay. So now I need to put a couple of medium trees in this spot. So this is stage one. This is stage two. So we need to water both of these rows. There we go. Oh yeah, the white flower one is cute too. Yes, I like that one. Yeah, the butterfly wallpaper from Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, I would be in love with that. Yeah, let me water these. Let's go check the other trees real fast because these I need to grow and we should be able to place them. 
I know I can do one of these trees though in one of those spots. Actually, I could probably do two of these. These ones we won't touch accidentally. So that is something that I need to make sure to be careful on is not watering one of the trees. Okay, see, I got this one back. So I'll put um, this one over here because that one we don't need to grow. So from now on, I'll make it a goal to only move the trees when I know it's at the, the stage that I need them. That way I don't accidentally continue to water them. Like, oh my gosh. And then I'll do this tree about right there. Spread them out a little bit. And then in this spot, I wonder if I could fit in. Oh, I got one of these trees ready to go. This one's done. Crafty, welcome in. Yes, Palea is, is so, so good. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. It's technically morning ish. Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to do a oak like tree instead in that spot. And I'll do this tree, push it back about like right there. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so we got that place. Now I'm, I'm thinking I might need to move this back over here so I can kind of see where we're at. Yeah, let's put this tree. I'm gonna push it back about right here because we, we need to do a stage two, which is not ready yet in this spot that's empty. It's 8 a.m. for you? Wow, time zones are crazy. Yeah, I'm just working on my witchy house right now. We were working on my restaurant earlier, and then the last couple hours we've just been decorating and getting my path started. It's been a pro it's been a process, but we are definitely getting there. I'm planning to do more streams on it too. I'm I'm on so much content creation overload at the moment because Two of my favorite games just got an update. So I also play in Shrouded and I'm planning to do speed builds and you know, like build tours with it. So it's like, I'm on content overload, trying to do Disney Dream My Valley content and Paleo content. Just like, there's too much, too much content right now. <laughs> but um, it's it's been really fun though. I'm enjoying the content lately and I feel like that's important. Oh, let me go ahead and water this one so I can put it where it needs to go. This next uh, growth stage will be exactly where I need it. And it'll go right there. There we go. Yeah, so this one will be a little bit taller and it'll be perfect for that spot. Awesome, we're making progress. But um, yeah, the new Paley update has been so much fun. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Do I have any more little pink flowers? I do. Let's put our pink flower like right there, like rotate it out a little. Cute. It's definitely coming along. And then I'll do another like right there. Yeah, I like it. I would say if you're wanting a fresh start, what's the harm in tearing it down and having that? This is gonna, this plot's gonna have a gazebo, a nice garden area, and a little workshop area. And then I'm gonna have a giant work plot too. Crafty, thank you so much. We have been working very hard. I will definitely be doing another Paleo stream in a couple of days so we can continue working on it. I say a couple of days, but I'll probably be like four or five because I still got to do our Disney Dream My Valley stream. But I am planning to um, stream more. I want to do most of this plot on streams. I mean, I'll do some designing, of course, like off camera, but like the grinding and resource stuff. But yeah, it's it's been going good. I'm really enjoying it. Let's put that tree right there. And then we can fill in behind like right that, there we go. Perfect, okay, let's go get some more stone 
and we also need to try to get some more seeds. What was the other resource that I needed? Do y'all remember? Yeah, so my one plot, this cottage is gonna have my gardening, my workshop, and I, I'm gonna have like all the basic stuff for my workshop, I think on here. Um, now, if I can fit my entire work thing that I have in mind, I wanna do like this, uh, cozy almost like a outside plant room in my pavilions for all of my workshop stuff with candles and everything so if i can fit that on this plot i definitely want to but if not i'll just do a dedicated plot for it but my rest my restaurant i'm obviously going to be keeping it because i like that for cooking parties and then i'll have my mansion um that i'm working on slowly Yes, I really do love the grind in Palea. It's so relaxing. It's just a really nice game. Thank you, Lavender. I feel like the bridge in the transition is coming along. I feel like we've really made some big, big progress today. I wanted to get started on this exterior so bad and I'm glad I did. Um, okay, there's some stone over here. No worries, Mary. I will be here for a while, so no stress. I probably should have brought bug bombs with me. Oops. Oh well. We'll just get we'll just get some wood and rocks for now. You see, like these little flowers. This is what I'm talking about. If we could get you know what? Since I'm a paleo partner, I'm gonna take a picture and be like, hey, you know what? If you're watching my stream devs. I can't even get a picture. <laughs> Devs, okay. From a paleo partner to you, can we have... Oops. These white flowers, please and thank you. And then the yellow ones added in another um, update. Because I like those a lot. And then bushes too. Need some bushes, need this fence. And also the fallen logs that you see all over the world. Yes, the pond is so worth it. I actually will be saving up for a second pond. Like, I want to do another build with it. Y'all, give me a second. My puppy's eating something. Okay, sorry about that. I thought she was doing something bad. Now she was just playing with her toys. Yes, a camera mode like Animal Crossing. That would be awesome. And I love that uh, Halia's in beta because that means we have so much coming and anything's possible. So <laughs> can we can we just can we ask for things? I also need to get some more wood, so I'm glad we're doing that. All right, let's see. Let's get this tree chopped. Good night, Sunny. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you tons. Get some good sleep. I am really excited that they gave us these flowers, though. That's how I'm, I'm hopeful that we're gonna get these because they're definitely listening. Like, I have been and so many other people have been like, give us the flowers all over the map, all over the world of Palea. And they've, they've been. All right, let's remove all of these. All right. Nope, <laughs> no, uh, no seed. I do wish that they dropped seeds more often or like maybe Badru sold them. I feel like that would be such a amazing update and let's try this tree nope <laughs> nothing there yes okay so two people in the chat today were able to get one. Oh, i think he might be live still we'll have to see if we can raid him perfect though but three hours He'll be at the goal to raid. 
Oh, that makes me sad for you. You don't have these? Oh, those flowers are my favorite. Yeah, my goal is to get one in the next couple of days. You can get two from the um, Magic Deers too. I don't think you can buy tree seeds. I'll go look and double check, but I'm pretty sure you can't. But I don't know even if I could, if I want to use my tokens. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Ooh, and these bushes too with the little um, blue flowers. I also want those. Kind of like window shopping as I get some resources for this pathway. <laughs> like give us this one and give us the other one, please and thank you. All right, let's get these. All right, more, more seeds, please. Y'all hold on one second, my puppy's getting into something. All right, let me go look. Oh, okay, did they add that? Have they always sold seeds? Sorry, my cat and dog are like playing in the background, so we're gonna unfortunately have to hear them if y'all do. Okay, yeah, Ani sell, sells the flowers, right? Let me go check Ashura, let me go look. Yeah, I imagine the Switch does have less details, that makes sense. Waffles, come here, babe. Come here. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, sorry, I'm here. My puppy was being up to no good. Um, okay, I'll go check Ashura. Just give me one second. I, I, I know you stay on my lap, you in timeout. No seed. Let me go see how many tokens I have. Cause like, I'm saving up with uh, stuff from Ashura. And let me also just refresh my brain and see what he has. Because if it's something that I can part with from Ashura for a while, I'm gonna get some seeds. All right, let's try these over here. I'm almost to level 100 <laughs> on tree cutting or because of tree cutting. My foraging is so high. Okay, let's go look. He should be over here somewhere. He always is. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I'm at 300 and 50 arrows and still no plushie. All right, let's see what he has. All right, we need, okay, I can part with a couple. I'm gonna do 10. I need those. Oh, I can probably, hmm, trying to decide. I think I'm gonna get another planter. Yeah, I want another one of those. And then the rest, I'm gonna get of these. And some acorns. Oops. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Perfect, perfect. I would request them, but my request tab is full. So otherwise I will, I will definitely be requesting some in the future. Ah, give me one second, friends, my puppy. Okay, you can go play, but don't chew on the, don't chew on the kitty cat. The cat and dog literally will play with each other and rough house. And they went back to it. Yeah, I'm looking so hard for the plushies. I remain hopeful. Mining is now level 72. All right, let's go ahead and get some of these too, because we're gonna need to make more cobblestone pathway. I look at it this way. At least, I 
my hunting will get some more appreciation. And I can like level that up a little. And I'm making some money. So at least that that's a bonus with this. Oh, and these flowers. I want these ones too. All right. And this gate right here, I want that. <laughs> Just making a wish list at this rate of everything that I really want from Palea. Oh, there's a rock right there. We're gonna get that too. Oh, and this tree. Imagine that on my witchy plot, like these giant trees. That would be perfect. All right, let's get this too. We just need enough to continue our pathway. I need to really resource grind though. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna level up in hunting. Like I am level 50 in hunting. So I feel like with this new update, these two are really gonna get some appreciation. So I'm excited about that. Cause I feel like we're just really slacking on these. Okay, so then we're gonna also Oh, are you gonna get this? No? Okay. I think there should be another right here. There we go. You gotten up to level 16 in hunting. Let's go. See, I don't really hunt that much anymore. And this is gonna give me some motivation to not only level it up, but what a fun way to make hunting a little bit better. I hope they continue to add more fun little things like this to each skill. Like, what if I garden and I unlock like a new seed or something with gardening or like, I don't know, something kind of like that. I just really like that they're adding stuff like this. Man, I really need to get my focus up. My focus is like all the way down right now, but I'm like so focused on getting this pathway uh, finished. Cause we, my stream is gonna be ending in like 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> so I'm trying my best to, uh, to get all the resources I can to get back to finishing this. Well, I won't be finished with it, but I wanna make progress. All right, so my goal is to continue to fill in with more greenery in these empty spots. Nine white deers, any luck? I think I've only, I've only gotten two white deers. Yeah, I feel like bug catching is definitely gonna go up for a lot of people. Cause like, it has a purpose besides getting on these items, of course, but I, I definitely feel like that was a really smart move on them to add that. Now I got two of these. I'm so excited. I love these. I want to get more of them. Definitely want more. Hello, Kalisa. Hello. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Okay. So these are going to be the tall trees, like the really tall trees. So we're going to plant those like right here there we go yeah I look at it this way I'm not gonna be bummed out if I don't find the plush immediately because now I will be making money while hunting so it's a plus it's a plus side yes welcome in I hope you're doing good y'all give me one second I'm gonna take a drink of my water All right, sorry, I'm here. Um, okay, so we're gonna place, where's my other seeds? There we go. So this is stage one. This will be stage two. So we're gonna get those planted. And then stage three. So I'm not 100%, but like the worst of the stomach flu has definitely passed. I still get like some uh, nausea and then I got head pressure and my fever is still sadly here, but I'm doing a lot better today. So I'm confident that I'll be fine during the weekend and I'm still having trouble eating. So I'm, I'm honestly looking forward to the point where I can actually eat something that ain't chicken broth. <laughs> Like I'm so sick of um, not eating. Like I've only had four crackers 
and a bowl of soup that I couldn't keep down and mostly chicken broth in the last four days. That's all I've had, like that total, no extra meals because I just haven't had an appetite. But um, I've been keeping my fluids up because I know that's important when you have a fever. But I'm just wanting to feel normal, you know? Like I'm just over the ick. Oh, y'all give me one second. Sorry, my puppy was getting herself into some trouble. Okay, we're gonna go get more of the stone pathing made. And that is the spring, I forget exactly what it's called. It's like a spring border. Spring fever rock edging. We're gonna make like all of that. There we go. No, I wish we could display the star antlers. I keep hoping that they'll continue to add things like that. Like, let me place the star um, jams and stuff. So no, sadly, as of right now, no. But maybe in a future update, I hope for. Yeah, I wish I could keep down more flavorable um, soups at the moment. I usually, like when I can start keeping food down, I usually make homemade chicken noodle soup and I make my own noodles. So homemade egg noodles with it. Oh, it's so good. So once I'm like actually feeling better, I'll start making some of that. But like, I just haven't had an, uh, an appetite because I've been throwing up, so. It's like when you throw up like that, you gotta keep your diet pretty bland. Like I can't even keep down mashed potatoes yet. So I'm kind of just like on the liquid saltine cracker <laughs> diet at the moment. But I feel like tomorrow, since my I'm almost done with the worst part. I mean like the nausea comes and goes in waves, but I feel like later I should be past this maybe by later tonight. And then I can probably start introducing food that ain't going to make me throw up immediately. All right, there we go. You sell them or you use them for quests. There we go. Yeah, you, you, there's a couple of quest lines you need them for, but just for the most part, if you've done a lot of questing and you've already given those, they also make really good gifts to... Um, some of the players, I I know that, um, uh, hold on one second. I know that some of them like them as gifts. So people like to keep them for, for presents, but I just usually sell them. There we go. Ooh, did we finish this? Oh, we did. I mean, there's a couple of like spots that I need to add into, I mean, I'm not done with the whole pathway, but I'm saying like, I finally got the part around the tree. <laughs> I think it's done, yeah. Perfect, yay. And then we'll connect it up to here. So for this, cause I'm keeping it, it looks like about four, four rocks. So let's pick this one up and do it. One, two three, four, and we'll blend it out as needed. I might have to make this one over here a little bit more wider. Eh, actually, I don't think so. I think it should be fine. Yeah, we should be okay. And then we'll rotate that one up a little. Cute, yeah, this will be nice. I can't believe I've gotten all of this pathing done on stream. And then we got all this decorating done at the beginning. Like, I think I think it's coming along. Hmm, okay. Oh yeah, the quest, there's, there's a lot of quests that have been added since then too. And keep in mind, I don't know if you knew about this, but you can find quests by like hunting. Um, you can get some from fishing. You can get some from the choppa piles and the Bahari pile too. And you can get them from hunting some choppas at the moment and just all around the world. So don't forget, I don't know if you've done those, but there is a lot of quests that have been added that you have to do from just daily things like gardening, for example, it's random, but they pull up. So 
those are also options too, in case you didn't know that. But a lot has been added since then. The decorating is really fun. And there's more coming. All right. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, I like this. Look at that. And then once these trees actually, you know, grow, now that I actually got that on my head, these don't need to be watered. These are watered. Okay, so th that seems good. And then these ones don't need to be watered, but I am gonna take one for decor, just in case I need it. And we'll do this tree, where are we at tree-wise? Let's, let's put this uh, smaller cedar, like, hmm. Maybe right there. Yeah, I like that. And this is kind of, it looks like I'm trying to uh, almost make it symmetrical, which I'm not meaning to. So I'm going to push this back a little. But yeah, I like that. That's cute. There we go. Yeah, there, oh my gosh, you definitely have a lot of quests. Like, I don't even have all the quests done. There's been a ton of questing added. Um, you can find them from the Chapa piles, the Bahari piles, and by doing, like, you know, just the daily tasks, things I was talking about. Like, I've gotten them from fishing and gardening. There's been a ton. Um, okay, so let's get, let's see trying to see what other like items I have in here. Oh, we're definitely get some fence uh, pieces out. These I'm using as like little fillers in between my trees because it kind of gives it like a nice little overgrown in between the gaps since we don't have bushes. Thank you, Mary, no worries. Um, What else? Ooh, I like these flowers quite a bit, but I'm gonna like customize them kind of breaks up some of the color if we do like white customization. And then let's see what other things I got in here. Cause I know that I got some stuff. I, I want to do like a little sitting area too. And I need to get my candles back. Let's grab these. Okay. And then these candles right here. There we go. Oh my gosh, same. I just want more fence options. I keep hoping that like, they're gonna surprise us like with an update and be like, here's like 10 different fence options and more flowers and bushes. I think I would faint. Oh, and more trees, of course. Give me one second, friends. Sorry, the coughs come in like waves. Where are, oh, there they are. I was like, where are these? I need to make more of them. I'm actually running out of them. Okay, perfect. We'll uh, obviously add um, more bushes and trees as we need to, but I think it's definitely come a long ways. And then we'll do this one right here. And put that one right there. I need to make more rock pathing though. Like I'm already running out. It's gonna be one of those things where I definitely need to stock up on my stone. And the funny thing is that I had so much stone too. Like I didn't think I was ever gonna run out. <laughs> Joke's on me. We ran out so fast, but this pathway has been worth it for sure. Definitely happy I went with this. Um, and then we'll do this candle, like right there. And then now we can start, now that it's nighttime, I can kind of start figuring out where I want all of my illumination. This will be helpful. You know what? I thought I had a lot of these little orange candles and now I'm like, man, I should have gotten more of them during Halloween. Okay, it's definitely making progress. Like, 
she's definitely coming along. And then we'll do this one. Oh, I need to like change the customization. Let's do that real fast. This needs to be back to the basic one. All right, there we go. Perfect. Yes, I'm so excited for the stump padding. Yes, it's gonna be so cute. And yeah, I, th I definitely think we have captured the witchy vibes. Let's do, these are gonna be like in between where you can't see the vases of the flowers that we already have, but it'll kind of like break things up a little bit. And that's why I want to use these, especially with the berry because these will match and I have so many of them from like fishing. So if they can actually be put to use, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we're gonna put these in between because that's what I've been doing for other stuff. We're gonna like sneak them in. Like, let's do, I'm trying to find a good spot. Maybe I'll do this one behind the candle. And We'll do, I think this one is the berry colored. Yeah, so I'll do the berry colored one. Yeah, like right there, like a little pop of that. And then this one, we'll sneak that in behind this little lantern. Just like fill it in a little. Cute. And then we also have stuff in here to fill in. So we're gonna rotate this. These are gonna give us the illusion that it's a little bit more filled in, especially cause I need to do um, some more trees. So in between my, especially like the bigger trees, this is gonna help me fill things in. So I'm gonna put this one back a smidge cause we're gonna put up another flower in the back, but yeah. Oh, I actually might need to move these to about right here so I can have room for the other flower. Okay, let me go get those actually now that I'm thinking about it. Mm, and these two. We need to get more of these in here. Yeah, we definitely need to start grabbing more greenery pieces. So we'll do this one. It's gonna help fill in our background a little bit more. Just really make it overgrown. That is the goal. And then grabbing this stage one. This is just from watering one day. So we're gonna have all these different tree heights and it's just gonna make it look really realistic. We're gonna put this one in between the bigger tree. Perfect. And then we'll do in these empty spots, like right here, some more flowers, like the little simple ones. Like, do, do these need to be watered? Yes. And we'll get the seeds from them as needed. And we're gonna grab this one, water these. Okay, picking up these two. And then let me go get the bigger trees or bigger flowers. I have so many of these flowers. So I'm not, I'm not running out of the blue ones anytime soon, but I definitely need to farm uh, some more of the other ones. Let's do that one like right there. Let's see how this looks, oops. Also, thank you so much, Chris, uh, Kristen. I definitely think it's coming together. I actually think we're gonna do this one, like maybe right there yeah and then we'll do this one maybe right here and two of the lavender like we'll move that one over here can i fit another of these yep i feel like that works I know, I can't wait to get all of the trees placed. Like we're making progress and it's already starting to feel very overgrown and I don't even have all my trees, which is gonna be so exciting, honestly, to see it come together. 
I do have this tree. How tall is this one? Let's see where we can place this tree. Then we need to start getting our taller trees in too. Yeah, this one's, I think, taller. Crafty, thank you so much. Thank you for hanging out. I'm so glad that I gave you some inspo too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one about right here. I'm trying to space them out enough. Yep, this is definitely starting to take some shape, which is great. And then we'll do another blue flower like right there. And we'll sneak another in the back like right here. These flowers are gonna be so good too for like little fillers cause they're so big. Thank you so much devs. Like I'm still feeling pretty icky but today's the best that I've felt in a while. So that really means a lot to me that you came in here to say that. Thank you, thank you. I'm doing better today though. So we're definitely making some progress. Um, and then we'll do this one, like right there. Okay, perfect. And then this blue will go right there. Definitely taking some shape. Let's go get more trees placed. We also got this one. Oh yeah, definitely work on your coat. This is stage one. This one didn't get watered, oops. This is stage two trees. They aren't ready, sadly, to be placed yet. This one though, I'm wondering if I can find a spot for it. I have so many trees to place, but I think we're, we're definitely getting some good progress done today. Let's, you know what, let's do this one right here. Cute. Yeah, I like that. And now that it's nighttime, I feel like it'd be wise to continue placing some of my candles, like getting more of those done. So let's do that one right there. And I'm gonna need to make more of these. We'll do this one right here and a bigger like raven lantern, like right there. Emma! <laughs> Emma, hello, welcome in. <laughs> Hi friend, look at me. Okay, so Emma, I thought I was being big brain energy because I have been off of Halia for about a month because my dog Pickle died last month, okay? And then I had the stomach flu. And um, so I'm behind on like Palea, just in general. So I was messing with these rocks, right? Like a few days ago. And I was thinking I was like big brain energy over here only to find out that you and Lauren <laughs> have done videos on these like i went to your um work pavilion video and i was like dang it emma <laughs> i thought i was big brain over here and then i saw that you did the cute little stepping stone idea with these um so i'm just like oh oh well but uh i was so excited too because i was like these would be great pathing options but this is what i've been working on i've been working on my witchy plot <laughs> Thank you so much, Emma. That was me though when I saw your work pavilion. I need, I want to do something like a work spot on here, but like with a bunch of candles. They are, they're really good options. I just, I just really, really cannot wait for pathing, like real pathing. So just know I haven't done it yet because we were live streaming, but I will be tagging you and Lauren for path inspiration. I'm gonna probably do these little cutting boards kind of leading up to a sitting spot, I think. Thank you, Emma. Honestly, this was so time consuming to do 
but I think we've made some great progress. Now ignore the plain house. I haven't had any time to customize it yet, but I think I'm making some progress. But how are you? I hope you're doing good. How are you enjoying the update? I missed your stream because when you streamed, I was asleep. So I hope you're loving it. Let's do this one like right here. I'm gonna have to make more candles. Definitely getting progress though. Oh, there's one right here. We're gonna grab that one. Oh my gosh, five pound coat. What's it made out of? I think I might need to space this one back a little, like right there. I know they did so good with this one, didn't they? I have been working so stinking hard on getting the start of this overgrown forest. And then I did like a little cul-de-sac thing, like an Animal Crossing style over here, which is, it's not done yet, but we are making some pretty good progress. And then I've been taking these little log cabin planters, right? And these are in between the gaps of the trees to kind of just make it more overgrown. So it's, it's coming along. We're making a lot of progress. I know, but I am thankful that the flowers are, are their own item limit. So I'm very thankful about that. But what are you working on, Emma? Like, what is your current project? Are you still working more on that work plot or do you have like a main house theme in mind? All right, you can add friends in games, yes. Like, uh, I don't know if you play on Switch, but in game you add it on keyboard and mouse, the O button, and you go manage friends and you type in their username. Oh, that, that explains why it's so heavy. That explains it. All right, and then we're gonna do this candle. I think about right there. So the goal is to do like a candle lit pathway up to this doorway. And then I'm gonna do more cobbled pathway going around this and it's gonna connect over to this doorway over here. And this is gonna have like farm stuff over here too. Thank you so much, Emma, it really means a lot. It has been quite the work, but I think it's coming along. I just wish, you know, like the beginner game stuff where we had like all these broken barrels and stuff. Like, I hate that I tore that down because this would have been so cute right there. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do, where's my crafting bench over here? No major projects at the moment. I get it though, I get it. Did you see? Oh wait, you did see, cause you saw my post on Twitter. We can now decorate the gazebo. I was like playing last night and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can place the flowers in here. And then when I saw it worked, I freaked out. <laughs> I was so excited about that. All right, there we go. But, uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Me too. I hate that I got rid of the house sign and like the little rock clusters. Oh my gosh. Like I want those back. Mistakes were made and I regret them fully. Uh, okay. And then we'll do another like right there. It is definitely taking some shape though. I think we've made a lot of nice progress. And then we'll do our next little thing of candles, like right here. I need to get my other candles. Let's space this one out to about like right there. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And let's go get other candles. I still can't believe how long this pathway has been taking me. I mean, there's a lot to add into it. Oh, here's the other stump. I'm gonna get that out. Cause I could probably, I could probably sneak that in, um, kind of near the entry. And then we're going to go to the bottom and get, I, I thought I had plenty of these <laughs> running out. I need to save a couple of them for my house interior. 
So good thing we're just accenting with these. And I'm saving these lights, the spring fever, for like my garden area. So I don't want it to take away from that, you know? So I think that's my plan. There we go. Where is the taller ones? There. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I know. Like, it's going to be so good. I can't wait to do a mansion. You know, I kind of might put this first one, like, right there. Yeah, and then I could do, like, a little decoration there or something. All right, let's get this one. Let's do it this way. And then grab this one. I like that these have kind of a curve to them too, you know? It helps with the path curving. Yeah, look at that. Progress. Okay, and then we have also this second stump. But I think I'm going to save this one for a different spot. Maybe like inside my house. And then we're going to grab this candle put it right there and this one right there so we're kind of just like spacing these candles out so it's, it's enough to glow on the ground but it's not like flame overload and it'll help with the lag too because this will cause lag we're gonna pick up these pick up more of these flowers and pick up these I need to water that other one Okay, and then grabbing this. I just can't wait to see what other types of florals they add to. That's another thing that I'm really looking forward to seeing. All right, let's place that first one. Right there, I think. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one there, but I'm gonna go back and get this one. And I think I'm gonna drag this one kind of near over here because it'll fill in when I get that taller tree in the back. We also need to get another small little tree. Let's get a shrub, a little stage one. And we're going to put this kind of where it's a little bit more empty. So one right there and going to take my favorite bush or well flower wait did i not did i not plant these oh there we go wait what did i plant here <laughs> what? oh this one needs to be grown oops okay let me move that one there there we go i was so confused for a second i was like did i grab one that wasn't fully grown and then i'll move oops Let's see, I'm trying to, let's move this one. Like, well, we're gonna space this out a little. Yeah, I'm gonna move this one over here and I will obviously continue to accent with these as needed. But yeah, we're gonna do it that way. And then I'll put also right here. Actually, rotate that, and then we're going to do this one over here. Perfect. Okay. Got that. Lovely. Okay. So now we're going to do the lavender. I think, is this the lavender one? I'm pretty sure it is. And we're going to do that one right here. And then I'm going to take a second in this spot. And then this will be another tree. So what trees do I have at the moment? I need, I'm waiting for so many to grow. Like this is my stage one. These are gonna be stage two. These are gonna be taller. I'm kind of running out of trees. <laughs> Didn't think I would be saying that. Oh, what do you, what do you not know what you wanna do with the plot? Like, do you have a theme that you would like to do? Cause that helps me every time I don't know what I want to do exactly, just kind of like, Planning out a theme gets me kind of motivated and started. Yeah, I have too many small trees. I think it'd be smart to, ooh, perfect. Let's water, 
see what our tree stages are at. Stage one, these need to be, did this not get watered all the way? Oh, I thought it did. I thought it was the early morning starting. Oops, okay. We're gonna go and do, I think, let me look. Yeah, I need to do another little flower. So we'll put that one right there. Yeah, okay, perfect. And then we'll do another little cluster of this bush. Oops, where did it go? <laughs> did I lose it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I honestly, I have like a museum plot that I need to start and work on, which I haven't done yet, but that's what a lot of people do. I'm trying to see if there's any seeds over here that I could steal. I just gotta be careful when I do steal a seed, it's gonna ask me to water, and I don't wanna obviously water my trees. Okay, got the seed from that one. Is this one asking me to water it? Yes, okay. Let's get that one watered. And we'll put this one back. That way I don't accidentally water my trees again like a silly goose. Okay, we're good on those. Those are just the trees telling me to water them. Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for like goal. Um, oh, sometimes just taking a little bit of a break helps. I get it. I've hit designing blocks too. Also, thank you so much for all the likes on today's stream. What the heck? Thank you so very, very much. I'm only gonna be streaming for about five to 10 more minutes. So we'll go do our raid in a few minutes because I need to go try to attempt to eat something. And then I'm gonna do, let's see, this one about right there. Yeah, okay, look at that. We've made some great progress and oops, <laughs> as I click that, no. Um, I just need to find a cute picture angle that I can get of this, of our progress. I don't know if there's enough done yet to update my progress. Let's see. Yeah, I think I need to fill in and wait for my trees a little bit more to get a nice picture. No! Um, all right. Oh, add you to my server. I'm streaming sadly right now, so I won't be able to join your server, but I, if you remind me, if you're in my Discord server, once I get done streaming, I will def definitely um, can help you chop some flow trees. Sadly, it does happen, like you run into servers that are empty. But if someone in the chat could be amazing and go help with those flow trees, that'd be awesome. All right, and then we're gonna do, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to get this. Yeah, this needs to be filled in a little bit more with some flowers and another tree. I might do like a really tall tree right here. But I think we're off to a great start. Okay, so with all of that being said, let's go see, is Nick still streaming? I think he is. If so, we're gonna go do um, Nick's stream for our raid today. Um, okay, so let me set up my redirect. And then I will be streaming Disney Dream My Valley. I'm hoping this weekend, I'm pretty much over the stomach flu now, but there is some things that are still lingering, so we'll just play by ear, but I think it should work out. Um, Nick is streaming, there we go. All right, so if you stay on this stream, it'll redirect you over. So let me get you a link to Nick's channel. But like I said, if you stay over here, we should be good then. Oh, yeah, you're on Nintendo. Gotcha. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Here's the link. And then you type in Horrible Gaming Raid. There we go. <laughs> and type that in the chat on Nick's channel and I will see you over there with a raid. And this weekend, 
cross your fingers. We should be doing a Disney Dream My Valley stream. I would love to maybe get like one of my storage rooms situated and uh, obviously work on Star Path as well. So um, that is my plans. And then tomorrow I'm going to start working on a Disney Dream My Valley speed build because we're a little you know, behind with me getting sick. But I hope that today's stream brought you some inspiration. Um, thank you so much. Uh, by the way, Emma, let me type it. Did I, how did I write your name for your command? Emma and I think Lauren is under that command. If not, if the, if Nightbot's not going to work now, <laughs> I swear. I'm trying to see. Did Nightbot decide not to work? Oh my gosh, Nightbot is not working. I'm gonna, okay, well, I will have Emma and Lauren's channel linked in the description once we finish up our raid, but please do go check them out because they both do some amazing paleo content too. They are my source of inspiration for the pathing ideas. I don't understand why it's not working. It happened to Brick's uh, command too. Like, Nightbot just isn't pulling up my commands. It happened also to Jet the other day. So I will just have to um, double check, but like, I, I know it's under Emma because I always refer to Emma as Emma in my commands. It's just easier to type. Um, yeah, that's weird. I don't understand why it's not working because it's worked before in the past and y'all have gotten it before. Whatever, we'll just, we'll just link it. <laughs> Thank you all again so much for today. Um, thank you for all the new members, all the new subs, all the likes on today's stream. Um, I think that's everything. I will see you over at Nick's channel. Stay on this stream so it redirects you over. Thank you again so very much for all the love on today's stream. And of course, have a horrible day and I'll see you very, very soon.